All right, we we should be Let's check it real quick. Hey, perfect. Get Isaiah 29 and 6. That's perfect. Uh, did we say the magnitude? Did it say the magnitude? It was a 5.1. 5.1. Yeah. 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 You say it's on there? Okay. All right. Shalom. Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites coming out here another week through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashan Abishai, the prophesy of the downfall of America which is known as Babylon according to the Holy Scriptures. And before we begin, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, 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 that's the correct name of the Heavenly Father, who this world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh, Shai, that's the true name of His only begotten Son, who this world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. We also want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that are laboring in His work, in all truth and in sincerity, Shalom. And also shalom to the rest of the, of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that are listed in these videos and that serve the Lord to the best of their ability. Shalom. All right, all right. Shalom, shalom. You know, to Wadi Yahweh Shino Shah for having us out here another week, you know, for showing his mercy, you know, for having us doing his work, man. But the title of this, of this lesson is, you know, uh, the Lord is visiting the earth, man. Okay, and we can see all these things are happening, man. All these events are popping off, man. Especially, you know, in this year, uh, 2020, man. Okay, what, what is it, uh, 2020 known for? The year of the vision, of vision. Okay, and we're seeing a lot of the prophecies come to pass, man. Okay, we're seeing uh, uh, missiles being launched. Okay, earthquakes in diverse places, pestilences. Okay, we see Esau ramping everything up. Okay, locking everything down. Okay, and, and, and it seems like he's getting ready to come down with great wrath, man. Okay, which we can see it coming. But two thirds of our people, the unbelievers of our people, they have no idea what's really happening. Okay, they're totally unaware of the spirit. They're totally unaware of their enemies. Okay, but the Most High has shown us mercy by showing us these things, man. All right. Isaiah 29 and verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord Yahweh of hosts with thunders and with earthquake and great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. Okay, the Lord is visiting this place, man, with thunder and tempest, man, and earthquakes, man. Okay, now, see, Esau and his news, he don't like to bring out a lot of these events that are happening. Okay, if it wasn't for the Most High creating the internet and having these devils uh, create uh, social media platforms, a lot of this news wouldn't be able to go out because the mainstream media isn't talking about these things as they should, okay? They're not talking about the, the important things that are happening, all right? But the Most High is visiting these places, man, visiting this earth, okay, with tempests, with thunder, okay, with fire, okay? Uh, and, and now this economic system is getting ready to collapse, man. You've been hearing rumors of, uh, of uh, a lot of these stores, man. These store prices are going up, man, okay? So this place is pretty much finished as we see it, man, okay? We're just waiting for everything to manifest itself, okay, completely, all right? So we can see all these people uh, 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 lose their minds, man. Okay, because they put their trust in this place, man. The Most High didn't tell you to put their put your trust in man. He didn't tell you to put your trust in in the ways of this world. Okay, he told you to put his trust, put your trust in him. Okay, but a lot of our people don't want to put their trust in the Most High, man. All right, and I was just thinking about it earlier. Our people, man, they they they, they don't understand that the way that they view the world and view themselves is from the eyes of their enemies. Okay. Of course they're going to tell you you're African-American, okay? Of course they're going to tell you you're Haitian, Jamaican, okay? Of course they're going to tell you you're Puerto Rican, but that's not who you are, all right? They're telling you history from their point of view, from the, from the, from the views that they want you to uh, remember history to be as. His story. His story. All right, go ahead. This is Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 5. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, cursed be the man that trusteth in man. Mm -hmm. And making flesh his arm, and whose heart departed from the Lord. All right. Okay. Cursed be the man that trusted man, man. Okay. Because the Most High didn't create us to trust in man. All right. And the Most High didn't. He, he, so the Most High created us to trust in Him and Him only. All right. Because when you trust in man, a corruptible thing, you're gonna reap that. You're gonna reap corruption. Okay. Especially if these men they walk in the way of death, you're gonna reap the same thing. And the scriptures say, you know. Uh, 
go to them that go down to Egypt for help. Mm. You know, tr trusting in, uh, in, in, in Esau, trusting in this system. All right, uh, and it says whose heart departed from the Lord. So if you trusted in men, that that means your heart, which is it goes back to your mind. That means your your mind is departed from the Lord because we're supposed to depend on the Lord for everything. You know? in, in generations of Jake, man, they have established their household, uh, uh, their households uh, uh, depending on uh, Esau. Okay, all kind of uh, 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 all kind of uh, benefits that Esau is giving you. They're not even benefits, man. Okay. But our people for generations has has uh, uh, relied on Esau, man. Okay, all his uh, 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 his, his wick, okay, uh, child support, all these things, man. But as soon as he, the, the time is coming where a lot of these things are going to be pulled back, man, and a lot of our people are going to lose their minds, man. Okay, because they've forgotten their power, man. They've forgotten the things that the Most High can do for them. Okay, instead of not relying on the government and and, and, and doing things for yourself. Okay, because the Lord said it in the scriptures: be, be become not a beggar, man. The Most High doesn't want us to be beggars, man. Okay? And it's not saying that you're wicked, that you got a little assistance from the government, but don't depend on them, man. When, when you're receiving these assistance, these assistance from the government, you're supposed to be working on uh, uh, removing yourself from them. Okay? Being less dependent on them. All right? You're supposed to use it as a temporary thing, not dependent on them from generation to generation, man. And he saw, he saw be, be, be reaping the benefits from child support, too. You no, know, especially off of Jake. You know, they, they, uh, Jake get, get Esau pregnant. Because Blake Griffin, you got to pay 280000 a month Damn. for child support. You know, that, that baby don't need that much for child support. Wow. Esau be, Esau be, uh, be, uh, be having his hand on that, on that child support as well. Also, Dwight Howard. Uh, he had went to court he, uh, a few years back, man. Everything that he has, he has to match that with his baby mother. So if he has a $4 million home, he got to get his baby mama a $4 million home. Because they're saying they don't want the child to feel any different from house to house. So if he's staying with his mother, he needs to feel like he's staying with his father and vice versa. I'm like, yo, that's wicked, man. That woman did nothing to earn all that money, man. Matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, she was a dancer, man. A whore. Okay? But that these are, these are all, uh, uh, that's a corrupt mentality, man. That's a corrupt mind, a corrupt spirit, man. And all these things we've gotten from Esau, man. Our people are afraid to separate themselves from Esau, man. Okay, but it's a, it's a necessity, man. So the most high be able to deal with us, man. But a lot of our people, if they're gonna separate themselves, they have to come back to the Lord, man. All right, this is Second Ezra chapter sixteen, verse twenty-one. Behold, victuals shall be so good, cheap upon earth, that they that they shall think themselves to be in good case, and even then shall evils grow upon earth. Swore, famine, and great confusion. You know, so with all these benefits, you know, with, uh, you know, we, we really we primarily out here talking to uh, to Jake, you know, so-called black Spanish and Native Americans. You know, uh, you know, they, they they think themselves to be in good case. You know, but uh, even though Esau, he's he may be giving us benefits and all these and all these things from the government. You know, it's, the scriptures say evil shall grow. All right, and the evils are, are growing upon this earth. All right, you got the pandemic going on. All right, you got uh, earthquakes. All right, uh, it was just an earthquake in uh, in, in Levy. All right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, well, no, it was that bomb. It's not. It was the bomb. Oh, yeah, that bomb is in our in our Levy. All right, let's read verse one. It says, "Behold, victory shall be so good, cheap upon earth, that they now, that they shall think themselves to be in good case, and even then shall evils grow upon earth, swore." Famine and great confusion. All right, and these people they, they can't see they can't see famine. They can't see you know destruction coming. All right, because the Lord has blinded them for you to see. All right, so they think themselves to be a good case. Yet they can't see they can't see they can't see the future. So what does the scripture say, man? Uh, a gift destroys the heart, man. And the heart of our people is destroyed, man. They they don't know how to be sovereign anymore. They don't know how to live off the earth anymore. You, you, you have country, you have continents like Africa taking on the waves of Esau, man. When Esau knows about the resources in their own land, in their land. And, and, and these so-called Africans, man, they have no idea how to live off the land anymore, man. Because they've drunk in the wine of, of, of that fornication, man. They've drunk in the wine that Esau gave them, man. Now they want, now they got supermarkets. Now they got McDonald's and such. Okay? So they don't, they don't, they don't, uh, they don't depend on the Most High anymore. But the Most High is using Esau to, the, to, to help uh, uh, destroy our people, man. 
those who don't serve him. Okay? Because they're going to they're gonna have to learn. Okay? They got to learn how important the words of the Most High is, man. We got to learn how to live on this earth, man. Okay. It's Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord Yahweh. God. You know, so, you know, it says, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. You know, and so it's not the wrong, you know, like the brother said, it's not the wrong with, you know, having food stamps. Not the wrong with, you know, um, being on Section 8. But, you know, Jake, you know, they, they trust and depend on Esau to provide that for them. You know, and, it's, and the scripture says, it just says, because they are very strong, but it's like it, but it says, they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord, you know, and that's the problem, you know, they, they, they don't seek the Lord, you know, the, um, they, they look at Esau as their God, you know, so that's why two thirds, they're going to, um, two thirds are going to take that vaccine and, and, and ultimately take that chip because they trust in Esau and Esau, you know, Esau is going to come, you know, if you want to um, continue to stay on these benefits, if you want to continue to um, get Section 8, you know, if you want to continue to get um, child support, you know, you got to take this vaccine. You got to take that chip, you know, and, and they're going to take that chip because because their God is Esau and they don't look to the Holy One of Israel. You know, and uh, Dabu 7 had, um, there's a video where, um, where they basically, you know, they're going to end up making the vaccine uh, mandatory and they, and they saying that eventually the, um, your job your, your job is going to mandate for you to take that vaccine you know and, and, and if the um, company if the company don't allow you um, if the company don't force you to take that vaccine then ultimately that um, that business can get shut down because because now because now you're gonna spread that um, vaccine and you know a lot of our people I was gonna say hey, they said they you can get arrested too if you're right yeah it's like a fine or something too. A lot of our people, they're going to take that vaccine, man. The two-thirds of our people, they're going to take that vaccine because they're they're afraid of this boogeyman, right? I don't, I don't see anybody walking around here sick at all, but everybody is walking around here with masks, right, okay? That's, that's, a lot of that's the video uh, that you shot, said. Dude talking about uh, scared of the boogeyman. Right. Coronavirus. Right. It's a lot. You know? They're, they're scared of this boogeyman, and they, they, there's really no truth. There's, I'm not saying that there aren't people dying from this illness. It, it is, it, there's a possibility that it really could be out there. And it's a possibility that it's not affecting any of the men of the Lord. You know? And I believe that, that it won't affect the men of the Lord. Because we're not putting our we're not putting in our, our energy and spirit towards those things, man. Yeah, we see it on TV. Yeah, we we you know there we you know hey it could possibly be happening, but we don't we can care less about these things because we know that all these things are the judgment of Yahweh Shem man. You know, and and going back to that precept the brother brought out earlier, man, they putting their trust in their horses, man. Okay, a lot of our people they're putting their trust in the police system. Okay, and I was watching the video the brother put in the chat this morning about another brother, uh, one brother shooting another brother, man, in, 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 in broad daylight, cold, man, all right? But our people are going to learn judgment all over again, man. See, that's the most high leaving our people uh, with, uh, uh, with their own devices, man. Okay, a lot of our people are going to start uh, 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 taking the law into their own hands, all right? Now, if we were to look at everything spiritually according to the law, statute, commandments of the Most High, we would have dealt. You would have been able to deal, deal with that situation properly and accordingly. All right, but they didn't know how to deal with that situation according to the uh, law, statute, commandments of the Most High, man. All right, so they took action into their own hand, and that man shed his own brother's blood, man. All right, and these things are going to start to increase more and more. Okay, as this economic system begins to collapse, because a lot of our people are frustrated, man. And not just, not just our people, people in general is frustrated, okay? Their hopes and dreams is, is, is diminishing right before their eyes, man. You know, though they walk around here in their pride, they know in the back of their mind there is no future here in, in America. They know that. They see the signs, okay? The, 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 the gold, an ounce of gold costs 2000 plus dollars. That's, that's never happened in, in history before. That lets you know that the dollar is extremely devalued worldwide, okay? And the economic collapse is getting ready to happen. These other nations have ditched the dollar, okay? See, people think everything is cool because nothing is happening right away, okay? There's a process that has to happen before these things happen, all right? Like, just within, within a year or two, you see, you see a lot of these stores shutting down, 
But people, they're not thinking about, oh, these stores are being shut down. They're just going about their businesses because their business because their favorite spot is the local. That, that, that's why it's been closed for, for last, a long time. For the last two weeks. Now. And you think anybody's thinking about that? Retail apocalypse, right. You know, because a lot of these retail stores are being closed down, man. Been closed down. Been closed down, man. Well, Wait, they, this one? Yeah, they, they, they open, open for the last, last three weeks. Hey, call lawyer how much to be out It never fails, bro. It never fails, man. Hey, that's that's how you know the spirit of the Lord, man. Literally every place we prophesy against it closed down. You know the, the word of the Lord is mighty, man. <laughs> wow, I need peace. <laughs> and, and this is how you know the word of the Lord is going out because what really gives the dollar value and power is the belief in it. Okay, but since this word has been coming out and the prophecies have, have been coming to pass, more and more people are getting nervous. Okay, they're getting, they're becoming afraid of spending their money. They're, 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 they're so afraid that they stop putting their trust in the dollar. Okay, they see prophecy coming to pass and they're, they're, they're not investing as they used to because they know that there's no future here, man. Okay, those who are wise, they know that war is brewing. Okay, we're pretty much here at war because that missile being dropped, that was uh that that has to be something that's going uh uh uh, 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 uh a ball is going to roll with that one, man. All right? And we we all know who did that. One. Go ahead. Ezekiel 12 and verse 25. For I am the Lord Yahweh. I speak in the word that I speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged. For in your days, O rebellious house, will I say, will I say the word and will perform it, saith the Lord, saith the Lord Yahweh. Again, the word of the Lord Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, The vision that, that he seeth is for many days to come. And he prophesied of the times that are far off. Right? Yeah, they, that's that's the mindset of our people today, man. They think that these things aren't aren't, aren't going to come in their lifetime. They thinking, oh, this is going to come in my my kids' lifetime or my my grandkids' lifetime. That's how selfish our people are thinking, man. They want to pass down the judgment to their grandkids and their children instead of being instead of manning up and, and, and dealing with it themselves. Instead of manning up and say, okay, I messed up. Let me return unto the Lord and serve Him. Okay, and see if I can protect myself and my family, man. Our people, they don't have that mentality, man. Even so-called Christians, they, they believe that, that this time is this, this thousands of years from now. Because oh. no, they can't see the signs. Yeah, you can okay. look. Because they can't, they can't see the signs. Huh. You know, the Lord hasn't given them the spirit. You know, they can't measure the time. You know, oh. diligently. Right? Because they're not, they're not, they don't have the Holy Spirit upon them. All right? And these churches, all they're teaching is prosperity. They're not teaching, you know, live events, you know, uh, what's going on in the world today and how it's linking up with Bible, uh, with, with biblical prophecy. All right, they're not speaking that. They're, they're speaking about uh, money, prosperity, you know, giving to the church, tithing. All right, they, they don't speak, you know, live biblical prophecy. They through, man. You know? They, this is uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And that's exactly what we do. You know, we prophesy against, you know, against great kingdoms. We prophesy against Babylon. You know, we prophesy against these other nations. All right. We prophesy, you know, pestilence, wars. All right. But what do you, what do you see in the churches? They have no prophecy. I don't right. even know what they're talking about in churches these days. You know what I mean, are, are they still able to go back to church? Sir? No. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they got this shit online. Online. Yeah. Wow. online ministry. You know? I, I just wonder what they're talking about these days, man. See, and you know, it's crazy because now they're being forced to do it online. But we've been telling them go out to the highways and byways and use the uh, use the unicorn anyway. Right. right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but they've been the thing about now and see now is going to expose a lot of the wicked things that they're doing in them churches. And I ain't think about that till right now because usually when you go to a church, right, only the people who are in that congregation are pretty much the ones hearing. Right. But now somebody can tap in a, a Baptist church and see what they're talking about, and you can compare that to what's going on in the scriptures, and you know that's folly, man. You know, but uh, the next verse, uh, which goes hand in hand with that, the prophet uh, Jeremiah twenty-eight nine, 
the prophet which prophesieth of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord hath truly sent him. Right. You know? They're they going to know that, that, the, that the true prophets are, are, are us. You know, these crazy people that's out, that's out there on the corners, you know, preaching, uh, preaching hate, so-called hate. All right? You know, they're they going to know once, once all these prophecies come to pass. Mm -hmm. Hey, and they, the, the brothers uh, in Holland, uh, they did a, a, the news, their news uh, station over there did an article on them. And they called them African hate speeches, hate preachers. Uh, all right. You know, which is totally off in so many different directions. All right. Because we tell you all that we're not so-called Africans, number one. And hey, man, we're, we're, we're not preaching hate. OK, we're preaching truth. OK, now, hey, they say if uh, you can't handle the truth. All right. If you can't handle the truth, then that's on you. This is not hate. All right, hate is what's been happening to the so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics over centuries, man. That's what hate is. Okay, now it's because we're telling you all the, the scriptures say, am I therefore your enemy because I tell you the truth? Okay, they, they try to make us to seem like we're hate preachers because we're telling them that the so-called white man has totally uh, disrespected and killed us over centuries. And it's still doing the same thing today. But we're hate preachers? We're, we're, we're speaking on, the, on facts of evidence. All right. When you, if we were to take, if we were, uh, this is the thing. And that's why the Heavenly Father said he's coming to judge. Can somebody give me Isaiah 33 and 22? This is why the Heavenly Father said he's coming to judge. Because if we were to take our case to a courtroom, all right, if we had a righteous judge sitting in that seat, he would say, you all are free and the Edomites are guilty of all their crimes. Okay. But since we, since we're in the seat of a, a wicked man right now. They, they, they see us as hate because we're going against their agenda. Right. All right. But how about Shimei Shai? He said, every man shall sit in the judgment seat, man, before him. Right. Who got that Isaiah? Right. Isaiah 33 and 22. For the Lord, Yahweh is our judge. That's right. The Lord is our judge, man. Go ahead. The Lord is our lawgiver. He's our lawgiver. We follow his law, statutes, and commandments. Go ahead. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Abishai, is our king. He's our king, man. And what he's going to do, brother? He will save us. He's going to save us, man. Uh, so we ain't got to worry about Esau, man. Uh, we ain't got to worry about Esau and all his nonsense because to them, everything that's adverse to their lifestyle is, is his hate. All right? But they're just being wicked, man. So we're going to wait on Yahweh Bashim Abishai to save us. Go ahead, bro. Deuteronomy 25 and 1. If there will be a controversy between men and they come unto judgment... That the judges may judge them, then they shall justify the righteous and condemn the wicked. That's right. So when you hey, when you have a judge, a situation, you got to justify the righteous and condemn the wicked. Okay. So if we wicked, y'all ought to be able to condemn us through the spirit. Y'all ought to be able to condemn us by this word. Y'all ought to be able to condemn us by uh, uh, secular history. Okay. But you can't. Okay. Because the Lord, and the Lord says, uh, we're, uh, for in every situation, two or three witnesses. Okay. And now, hey, and that's why when you read about uh, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, he talks about, he says, I am uh, testifying of the Father and he testifies of me and the Holy Spirit. So they come in two or three witnesses in that, in that sense, man. But you got it back, brother. No, and that's right. And they, and they changed secular history, man. That's why if you didn't, if you didn't have knowledge of Yahweh Shem El Shai and you went to them trying to fight for yourself, you wouldn't be able to, man. Because they changed history. They're going to be like, well, you know, look at, look at the history. You know what I mean? But we know that they, they've written in lies, man. The scripture says that they turned everything upside down, man. Okay? And we know that through the Spirit. We know that uh, when the Lord blessed us with the Spirit and the understanding of the scriptures, we were able to go back into history and break history down according to the scriptures, man. Okay? To give us a sure foundation, man. But two-thirds of our people, they, they don't have anything to stand on, man. Right, so that's why when the wind, when the wind, when this flood comes, man, they're they're, they're not gonna have no foundation. They're gonna be they're gonna be broken. Okay. This is Luke chapter one verse sixty eight. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for He hath visited and redeemed His people, and have raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of His servant David. Come on, who's that horn of salvation? That horn of salvation is Yahweh Shah, man. Okay, read that last part again. Uh, verse 69. And have raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. In, in, for the, in the house? For the house of his servant David? Uh, let me read it again. Luke 1 to 69. And have mm -hmm. raised up an horn of salvation for us 
in the house of David. For us in the house of David, man. You have to dwell in the house of David, man. And David is a follower of Yahweh Shai, man. All right? And he knew that from the very first time But when the, when the Lord told him about his, his own son. That's why the scripture says, uh, the Lord called for my Lord. The Lord said unto, uh, unto my Lord, sit down on my right hand side till I make thine enemies thy footstool. Okay? So we have to dwell in the house, man. We have to dwell. And that's the only way you're going to be able to see these things that are getting ready to happen. This is how you're able to see that salvation is getting ready to come. All right? But if you're not dwelling in the house, the salvation is not for you. All right? Uh, verse 7. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which had been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies. And from the hand of all that hate us. All right. So we know, according to the scriptures, we have enemies. Okay. Because if it was up to the so-called white man, we wouldn't have any enemies. We'll just be walking around here aimlessly, uh, uh, pants sagging, smoking and drinking, thinking that there's nothing wrong. While he but stabbed the, you in the back. But yeah, <laughs> while he stabbed you in the back. But the Lord told us that we have enemies, man. And the Lord has enemies, man. Okay. But what, what do our enemies want to tell us? That God loves everybody. That's not according to the scripture. He said, he said, he said, he said all of them hate us. Right. So they, they hate us. Oh, Psalms 37 and 32. The wicked watches the righteous and seeketh to slay him. The Lord Yahweh would not leave him in his hand nor condemn him when he is judged. You know, so you know, like the brother was saying, you know, ultimately, you know, the Lord is the Lord is is, is our judge. You know, so the Lord is not going to leave us in the hand of, of our enemies. You know, the ones that's um, the ones that's seeking the Lord and returning in all truth and sincerity. You know, the Lord is not going to leave us in, in, in the hand of our enemies. Come. Uh, this is uh, Psalms one thirty nine, and I'll start at nineteen. Surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O Yahweh. Depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men. For they speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies take thy name in vain, man. Hey, and so that's how you also, you know, we know this is talking about Esau and the heathen, but this is how you also know it's talking about Jake, man. Okay, because he said, thy enemies take thy name in vain, man. You got Israelites out here actually know the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, and they're still being wicked. They're still using His name uh, in, in a false way, or they still choose to say Jesus instead of saying Yahweh Shah. Okay? It says, uh... Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? And am I not grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. Hey, so it ain't just the fact that there are enemies. It's really because you're an enemy of our father. Okay, so if you're the enemy of our father, you're definitely our enemy. We can see through us that you're our enemies, man. You, you've created idol gods. All right, you've uh, you, uh, put us in captivity. All right, how, how much more does it take for an enemy to show that he's your enemy, man? Okay, it says, uh, and King David said, I hate them with perfect hatred, man. Okay, so it, this is, hey, he says, King, if you know anything about the Bible, in, in the book of Acts, it says King David is a man after the Most High's heart. Huh. So if God loves King David that much, why would King David say, I hate them with perfect hatred? Okay, so that means he loves a man that hates in perfection. All right, so that means now you got to start thinking of the Heavenly Father's thinking, not the way that you've been thinking. All right. It says, uh, search me, O Yahweh, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way after la everlasting. So if we got the, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Heavenly Father, his law, statutes, and commandments. We got to ask the Lord to change those wicked ways that sent us to come back to him, man. And the reason, and, and, and our men don't have that spirit upon them, especially those of our men in the world, because their house is not in order. Okay, you over here trying to bring out truth and, and, and try to uh, battle our enemies spiritually, but then you have your own women at home uh, uh, who, who's against you for going at your enemies spiritually. Okay, so you have to have your house in order, man. Okay, but that's why it's not up to the women. The Wadi Yahashim Al Shah is up to the men, man, because he's designed us for, the, for these kind of things, man. Okay, to be stern, to endure hardship. Okay. That's why uh, uh, the scripture says, oh, ye men have I called, man. Okay? And the Lord called us to, uh, to uh, uh, help to uh, establish the kingdom. Okay? Uh, verse 71, Luke 1 and 71, that we should be saved from our enemies 
from the hand of all that hate us to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he sware to our, to our father Abraham, that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. You know, and, and, and I, I read that, you know, because that, that goes to show that the Lord, uh, Yahweh Shemi al you know, he, 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 um, his word doesn't go out void. You know, he's, he's not a man that should lie. All right, so um, so he's going to, he, he, so that's how you know the Lord, he's going to come back and redeem his people. All right, he hasn't redeemed us yet. All right, we're still in the land of our enemies. All right, we're still serving our enemies. All right, and, and we're not, and we're not serving him. You know, in, 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 in holiness as a, as, a, as a nation all together. All right, that's only going to come in, in the kingdom. All right, that's that covenant that he, that he promised unto us. Right. It's a promise. It's his word. All right. But our enemies, once again, has taught us otherwise without even proving it in the scriptures. All right. The most high, the most high made a decree, a declaration. He made an oath with his people. And no other people. He made a covenant with his people and no other people. There's nowhere in the New Testament, okay, where the Most High made another covenant with another nation. All right? Because if he was going to make a covenant with the other nations, he would have wrote it down in great detail like he did with Jacob. But why, is it, why hasn't he done that with any other nations? Because he's never made a covenant with them. Okay? The, you, okay? Despite all our, all our evils and our wickedness, the Most High made a promise, man. See, our enemies are trying to uh, uh, call the Most High a liar. They want us to believe that the Most High changed his mind. Why would you believe in a God that gave you a promise and changed his mind? What God are you serving? You're not serving the true power. Those devil horns. Yeah. <laughs> that shoot is a that <laughs> I mean, they, they want us to serve a, a, a whole nother power, man. The Most High made a promise, man, a covenant to his people, man. All right, this is why our people, they think the way they, they, they're thinking. They're thinking that the Most High has forgot about them, man. Because our enemies have said the Most High forgotten about you. They don't think justice is coming for them because our enemies have said God loves everybody. For God forgives. God forgives, but you're going to receive your judgment first. This is Job 20 and 5, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. That's right. Hey, Esau only got this for a little bit, man. You know, Esau, it is the, their, their time on this earth, man, is about to soon come to a close. And that's why we, that's why we, we really, when we tell Edomites to rejoice, we sincerely, from the depths of our heart, we mean that. All right? We eat them, we, you eat them, we want you to enjoy this life as best as you can, man. You better. You better. You better because hey, after this, it's, it's over, man. Go so, said, uh, you know. Snort your cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> snort, <laughs> snort your ca cocaine. Oh, do all the lines. <laughs> Molly. Shoot, Molly, shoot up. You know. Do take, it all. take all your trips. Pop all your pills. Come. You know. Do all of that, man. You know, because after this, man. It ain't nothing but death, torture, and hell for you after this, man. So Edomites enjoy it, man. We sincerely mean that. We don't want you to touch no Israel. See, the problem with telling Edomites to enjoy life is that means they got to destroy Jake in the wake of it. Huh. You know, that's the problem. You know what I'm saying? You can tell Jake, hey, go have a good-ass time. Jake ain't going to go, you know, killing people and taking shit from, from other nations. Now that you said you know, that, now that you said that, I was watching Purge last night, the uh, first Purge again, mm -hmm. when uh, Jake was in the hood. Jake, Jake wasn't even uh wasn't even killing nobody or right, nothing. Right. It was partying. Hey, Jake, right. hey, hey, they do a fucking uh uh purge party. Yeah, they do a purge party. <laughs> like oh, all the shit on the purge, they say you can get out all of that that year end of uh blood and killing that you can. Jake said, hey, we gonna throw a party. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, but what, is, what you know? You got Edomites. They saw here. They trying to trap you up, man. You know, they tried to, what did Edomites do? They tooted and booted and came to the hood yep. trying to kill as many of them yep. as they could, man. You know? I got, we, we, all we've been taught was entertainment. Yep. You know, because that's that, those are the only, those, those who are our leaders, but, entertainers. But see, also, that lets you know Jake is a, a, a like I said, plain man, man. Uh, you know? Yeah, man. Or Jake just want to have, we want to praise our Lord, give us some good music, the brothers, and some good drink and food, and we good. Hey, but the scripture <laughs> says, man, there's a time for peace. 
and there's a time for war, man. Right. I got something. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus 25 and verse 7. There be nine things which I have judged in mine heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies. enemies. <laughs> All right? Hey, that, 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 that makes a man happy, man. We're going to see the fall of our enemies. We're going to see the so-called white man end up in chains, according to the Bible. Come. Right? That's biblical prophecy. That's that right. these other nations, all right, the so-called white man, these other nations that are not Israelites, they're going to be in bondage, okay? Hardcore slavery, according to the Bible. That's right. And we rejoice in that, man. Come. We're going to tread. We're going to tread down our enemies. Seeing the seeing the fall of your enemy, you what, in all of these movies where like a dude like somebody killed a man's wife or his family. The whole movie, the dude is set out to kill that man. <laughs> all right? So spiritually, all we're doing, we're sitting back waiting. Because the Lord like, hey, you gonna, y'all going to get him. You know? So we don't got to be like these dudes carnal in the world. Hey, yo, you know, be plotting and shit every day. You going home. I'm going to get over on these Edomites. I'm going to take them down. We know that Yahweh Bashim Yashar going to do it, man. You look, you know? at the, look at the weapons Esau got that he did on Lebanon, man. He could easily do that to a Jake neighborhood. Easy. Without sweat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you think you can grab your guns and go fight Esau, man? <laughs> they finally had a, a, a video uh, of the thermal scan of Lebanon because people couldn't decide if it was a bomb or not. But we saw the missile come down. Come. You know, but all those people who were blind, they had a thermal scan now to where you see a white missile coming from and it just blows it up, man. Hey, man, Thawadia, how about you now, Shai, for creating these, uh, 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 these phones with these super incredible cameras, <laughs> camera lenses? So a, ra a random person can record that and slow it down on their computer on a program and show you the missile dropping. You foolish idiot. You just an idiot, Esau. It's just a taste, man. <laughs> I, I, I got something real quick. Uh, this is Isaiah 40 and 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the eyes as owls as a very little thing. You see, so the Lord says these are the nations. He don't, hey man, you people ain't, you ain't shit. To put it plainly, man. All right? The Lord says he counted you as a very little thing, man. Okay? He says, uh, and Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. And so, you know, of course, Lebanon just got burned, but Lebanon is known for its uh, great cedar trees and things like that. So no matter how many sacrifices that the heathen make to the Heavenly Father, no matter how many beasts they kill, no matter how many trees and gifts they try to give to the Lord, he said it's not sufficient to burn, man. It's not enough, okay? That, that's where you even read in Joel, the third chapter. He says, oh, Tyre and Zidon, what is the recompense that you're going to give unto me? What can you sacrifice to the Lord for all of the things that you've done to his children? Nothing, okay? It says, all nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity, man. All right? The, the, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ just says so-called white people are nothing, okay? He said the so-called Asian man is nothing. Right. The so-called Arab man is nothing. Uh, okay? He said he loved us, man. That, and that, see, he, the Lord could have said, you know, I love him a little bit. You know, but he said, <laughs> you know, he said, I don't love him at all. I love y'all, man. You know? Hey, that's that's faithfulness right there, man. The Lord is faithful. He ain't, he ain't cheat on us. He ain't trade up on us. The Lord, hey, and, and, uh, he says, um, uh, in Romans the 11 chapter, had the most high, uh, forbid, uh, forsake his people? Nah, man, God forbid. You know, in um, uh, Salakia, um, See, these people, man, when they come across, when they walk by and we tell them they're, that they're going into captivity, we tell them, yo, you're going into slavery. See, they, they laugh because they don't understand the psychological damage captivity has had on our people. And our people, two-thirds of our people, they don't know the damage that's done to their mind because they're living in the world. They're living in Esau's world. They think everything is okay, okay? But when you separate yourself from the way that they think, Okay, when you separate yourself spiritually from their world, then you'll be able to see the damage that's been done to your mind. And brother, you just made me think of a great point. So, on the same end, the damage that uh, slavery has done to our minds is on the same foot the pride of damage has done to their minds. Come. That's why they laugh when we say they're going into slavery. Come. You see what I'm saying? The pride and the benefits, they can't see it happening. Thy pride today. has deceived these man. You know? Thy pride deceived. has deceived thee. Hey, and it says, hey, but, hey, before uh, pride comes a comes a haughty fall, man. Huh. You know, pride comes the destruction. Destruction, the haughtiness before a great fall. That's huh. it, man. You know, pride coming before destruction. So, hey, that's how we know. Hey, that scripture alone lets you know that the so-called white man about to get taken out of power. That's the thing, man. 
I be saying this all the time. It's real. You real talk. You can get one scripture that can talk about how everything is going to fall apart. But the Lord makes sure we bring the repetition. And so we, 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 we overbeat this thing, man. And that's how you know the Lord is up there. That's why you have about your of one mind, man. From the beginning of the scriptures to the end, it's all repetitive. Saying the same thing over and over again. Okay, this is why we stand so sure in the scriptures, man. Because the Lord says these things over and over again. In the law, okay, in, 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 the, prophets, in the prophets, okay, in the gospel, it's being said over and over and over again. Even in Revelation. Okay? This is why we can stand so stiffly, man. This is Obadiah verse 4. Though, uh, verse 3, Salah. Obadiah verse 3, the pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. Thou that dwelleth in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt, exalt thyself as the eagle, and thou and, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. You know, and, 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 so, and that's exactly the, uh, the mind frame of Esau. You know, like, like you said, when, uh, like when they walk by, you tell them we going, they go into slavery, they can't see it. Right. You know, because, you know, they've been, you know, they've been on top for so long. You know, they've been on top for so long, they can't see, they can't see the, the, their downfall. But the Lord said, he said, thus saith the Lord, he will bring thee down. <laughs> All right? You know, so it's going to happen because those thus saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. you know, we, did, we, did, we, did, we couldn't see it at, at that time when we were in power that we were going to go into captivity. But we we in captivity right now. But we at, we're at the end of our captivity, man. We, the Lord has showed us mercy, man. What's the, end, what's the ending of Esau's captivity? All right? Complete destruction, man. He's going to serve a thousand years and be totally gotten rid of. Okay? After I, after that thousand years of slavery, the so-called white man will no longer be seen on the face of the earth. Now, that doesn't mean that their souls are going to go away. Okay? The, their souls are going to be distributed amongst the heathen. Okay? Because they mean nothing. Okay? The scripture says that the Most High made the world for our sakes. This world is our world. Okay? He didn't make it for the heathens to, to, to dwell in. Alright? Like the one brother be making, uh, they mentioned it, uh, uh, they mentioned it before, man. They're just the background characters in 2K, man. They don't matter. <laughs> you know? And I love when the brother said that, man. When he said that, I thought, I thought that was ill because it's true. They mean nothing, man. And in, in our kingdom, their women are going to be ours. And even the, and the men are going to be our slaves. All right? Just as real as it was for us, it's going to be as real for you. Right. Bet that. <laughs> right. My colleague said you had some brother. Oh, yeah. Oh. And the Malkamites. This is Psalms 52 and 5. I'm going to read the header first. To the chief musician, Mashil, a psalm of David, when doing the Edomite came and told Saul and said unto him, David, come to the house of Ahimelech. All right, this is Psalms 52 and 5. Yahweh shall likewise destroy thee forever. He shall take thee away and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place and root thee out of the land of the living. Salah. That's right. Hey, they're they, they going to be rooted out, man. <laughs> Root it out. That also goes into Job, the 18th chapter. When it said, there shall be no remembrance of him in the streets. Huh. <laughs> you know? They're going to be completely rooted out, man. And when you take a, if you take a tree out of, that's why whenever you plant a tree, all right, if you take a, a tree and take it out of the ground and you plant it back in, you got to make sure the roots are grounded in there. Because if you don't have no roots, you don't, roots, you don't have any foundation, nothing to grab onto. So the Lord says the Edomites are going to be rooted out. That, and that goes into their power structure and them themselves. You know, there's not going to be any more uh, what Esau say goes. There's not going to be, oh, the so-called white man who runs that building. Oh, that so-called white man who's your boss and CEO. Ain't going to be no white CEOs in the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> no red CEOs, no Edomite CEOs in the kingdom of heaven, man. All right. Every every title for uh, for Edomites is going to be slave, bed wench, and worker. That's huh. it, man. That's it. <laughs> Huh. That's it. And you know what? It's a lot, y'all. This is why I like watching documentaries in, 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 in uh, countries predominantly of our people. Because you actually get to see them in some kind of uh, level. All right? You actually get to see how they function when it's just us. See, here in Babylon, our people don't get that visual. All right? They get to see people of, of some kind of level on TV. You know, rappers, entertainers. No. When, when you watch the other nations where we dwell, especially like Nigeria and stuff like that, it's 
okay? You see so-called black men in high positions running everything. All the stores you go into, we run it. All the buildings that you, you go into, we run it. School system, everything. So even though they don't run it completely because Esau still controls a lot of these things, it gets your mind going. It gets your imagination going of how we might be, you know, because we don't see that here. Everywhere we go that's of importance here in Babylon, the so-called white man runs it. The schools, okay, a lot of the uh, 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 government buildings, all right, all you see is Esau up in there and the woman, okay, but it's not going to be so in our kingdom. All right, go ahead, I'll pretty much uh, the backyard. There's a book of Genesis, chapter 41, uh, chapter 20, 27, verse 41. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Hey, brother, then, Slark, can, you, can you start up, actually, can you start up um, at like 37, I think? Because we were we just spoke about something the other day. And I th Go ahead, brother, 37, 37. yeah, yeah. All right, the book of Genesis, chapter 27, verse 37. And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, I started, uh, It might be before that. We, 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 we found something the other day that was uh, a true revelation. <laughs> uh, hold on, let me tell you which verse to get. All right, give me one second. Uh, Genesis 27, and uh, start at 27. 27. Yeah, start at 27. All right, the book of Genesis, chapter 27, verse 27. And he came near it and kissed him, and he smelled... And he smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him and said, See, the smell of my son is at the smell of the field which the Lord hath blessed. Right. So this was uh, Jacob putting on Esau's garment to, uh, to uh, receive, to supplant and receive the, the blessing through prophecy that was ordained for him. And so he, th he thought he had on Esau. He thought that was Esau because he had on his, his, his clothing from the field. That's how you know. Also, these so-called white people are beasts. You can smell them wherever they go. Con, right. all right. Con, man. <laughs> go ahead, brother. <laughs> See, he know what I'm talking about. Like this, this, this guy gets it. <laughs> go ahead, bro. Verse 28. Therefore, Yahweh gave thee of the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth mm -hmm. and plenty of corn and wine. Right. So, hey, this is you know, this is the revelation because he was giving Esau. He thought he was giving Esau. The door to heaven and the fatness of the earth, where he really blessed it with Jacob. But you're going to read later in this chapter, all right, that he that he said after he gave uh, Esau the blessing of the sword, he also said, "Thou shalt rule by thy sword, and you got to do it to heaven and the fatness of the earth." All right, but Jacob got the corn and the wine, and we already had the fatness of the uh, the earth and the door to heaven, man. We already had it before Esau had it. But the thing is, they only got it for a momentary time, man. Okay, go ahead, bro. Verse twenty nine. Let people serve thee, and nations bow down to thee. Mm -hmm. Be Lord over thy brethren, and let thy mother's sons bow down to thee. All right. So this is all the things that was going to happen. This is uh, East. I mean, Jacob is going to end up ruling over uh, the other nations, as according to the prophecy in Genesis, the twenty-fifth chapter. Okay. Now you can uh, jump back to your point, brother. All right. Uh, let's draw down to forty-one. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. Hey, you wicked, man. He, hey, that, you know you a devil when the first thing on your mind, soon as daddy die, I'm going to kill that nigga. <laughs> That's what he said, man. Soon as daddy die, I'm going to kill him. You know, he ain't worrying about nothing else. That's his first mission. Soon as daddy put in the grave, man, I'm going to kill him. And that's how these so-called white people think about us, man. As soon as I get the opportunity, I'm going to kill them. They have a, uh, I forget what state it's in, but they have a group of cops, all right, that were uh, basically like bandits. I forget the name of the group, too. I was uh, watching a little uh, video clip on it. But they basically were uh, saying that these cops, uh, they like get a tattoo with a, uh, it's basically like skull and bones. You know what I'm saying? But they would get a tattoo, and they, their job is to go out and kill so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics. All right? That's what they're about. So when you see these deaths taking place in the streets, don't think that uh, it, it wasn't set up to be that way. They probably have a contest. Hey, yo, I took me out three this, that's me. I took me out three this week. You know what I'm saying? I took me out five today. They be having contests for that, man. As soon as they, <laughs> as soon as they get the opportunity, I'm going to kill them. Hey, you see you know, that movie, Don't Be a Business, where they was in the police, uh, uh, in that, in that police station, and they were playing that video game, and they were beating up their <laughs> <laughs> You know? you know what I'm talking about? I can't remember the scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, know, I watched the movie. I can't remember the scene. I can't remember the scene. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't that's, that's how they really think. Yeah. They really 
think like that about Jake, man. It's just Jake don't think that they think like that. They do, man. Yep. It's hard for them to get initiated. They probably got to go out and kill a nigga. Yeah. Yep. That's how they get jumped in. You got to go, hey, you got to <laughs> kill one tonight. And you know, you know and within, there's always a society within a society. You know, the, the, the regular the regular police officers, they don't really know what's going on. Mm -hmm. They may have an uh, inkling, you know, but they don't really know what's going on because there's groups amongst them that separate themselves. It's kind of like in the military, the officers can't fraternize with the enlisters. It's the same thing. You know, there's levels to that to that to, the, to that world. You know, this is First John chapter three and verse ten. Point is at twelve. Verse ten it says, "In this the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God." Neither he that loveth not his brother. So that's how you know Cain, you know, he's not of Yahweh Shemiah Shah. Alright, uh, well, and Cain goes back to Esau, the so-called white people today. In verse 11, for this is the message, for this is the message that he heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother, and wherefore slew he him? Because his own works were evil. And his brother's righteous. You know, so Cain, you know, he slew Esau. He, uh, Cain, he slew uh, Abel. He slew Abel, you know, for, for being righteous. Uh, you know? And they want to do the same thing now. You know, they see the men of the lake, they see the, the, the most high waking up his people. Okay? And now they have it in their heart to kill us, man. And we're doing good. And they don't want us to do good. They don't want us to remember ourselves. They don't want us to serve our power. Because they know the moment that we do that, their downfall is near. Hey, and that just reminded me, um, speaking about Cain and Abel, Abel, Cain killed Abel, all right, <laughs> because the Lord uh, thought that Cain, uh, Abel's sacrifice was more pleasing, okay? So that's the same thing now. Edomites will try to kill us because this is our sacrifice. We out on the, on the streets every week, all right, and on the internet throughout the week, showing our faces, giving all praises to the Heavenly Father and His Son. But the Edomites will go to church, all right, Get high before they go to church. All right? You know, faded in there just trying to uh, get on, just trying to get on the women, you know, and leave and then go party, get drunk, and do some more wickedness. But since our sacrifice is more pleasing, they want to kill us. You know? Same spirits, man. You guys don't go, they go to church slack, y'all. They go to church, but they don't go to the church for the same reason that we go to church for. I mean, they're in there because they understand that this looks good. Yep. You know, this just It's looks a business good. move. Right, it's a business move. You know, you can tell people I go to church. I had these, man, I had these Amalekites in my car uh, the other day, you know, uh, talking about, um, you know, they Catholics and they was making fun of the other religions. And I was laughing. I thought the shit was funny because I don't care about the other religions, you know, but they don't understand. You know, I'm, I'm dropping little little gems on them, but they ain't getting it, man. But I'm like, these devils, you know, but he up here, they doing all this. But he talking about, oh, yeah, I'm a Catholic. All oh, right, right. But you, you know what I'm saying? You do stuff with little kids. That's all I heard. You know what I'm saying? You know, they, they devils, man. They devils, bro. They, they only do that to fool Jake. To make us think that they're, to make us look at them like, oh, man, they're really doing good. Yeah, because they have money. They in the back talking about that, this million dollar deal, two million dollar deal that they about to go make. But you should have heard these men, bro. These were vile men. Well, I think one of them was a sodomite, too. These were vile men. And when you understand that the, the, na the nation of people that Esau is, you start to see, man, these so-called white people, if you, if you get them out of that business suit, and start to listen to the things he's saying, man. You'll see he's a vile man. All right? But uh, you have to say, bro. Can I? Can I? I love y'all, bro. Yeah, yeah, brother. I'm going to give you a little, I'm, I'm home. Uh, I'm going to give y'all a little, little a scenario that happens every day. Mm -hmm. day, day. I'm out here. I'm trying to eat. And uh, you see these security guards. I like, mm -hmm. had to snap off on one of them. Because every day. The white security, the white security guy, they'll be in the car, and the white security guy will send the black man to come over. Hey, tell him to move. Mm. Tell him to move. So I said, no, no, I said, man, listen, man, you know, see what's going on. You know my situation. You know I'm trying to eat. Mm -hmm. You know, but you let the white man make you go and tell me, why don't you just sit in the car car you keep driving? Why don't you just sit? Why don't you sit there and say, no, you go tell them. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And I, I said, you don't see it, bro. Yep. It's twofold. I'm not saying you're dumb, bro. Yep. Why you can't just speak back and say, no, man. You want me to move? You can tell me. 
Right. You know, but that's it, part of them wanting to have authority. I can tell them to go and do whatever they want. But the other part is, right, causing the video. Hey, he, he'll appreciate you saying it more. You know, he, he, you know, but that's really setting a brother against a brother. You know, and the scripture said we're not supposed to do that, man. You know, he, 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 you're right. You tell them to move then. If you got a problem, why you tell them to move? You know, but hey, they, they think they own these streets, man. The scripture says, woe unto those who sow discourse amongst brethren, man. And that's what he's doing, man. He's sowing discourse, discourse amongst you. Because they may not want to do that. But you're not knowing. If you, you understand them. But if you didn't know better, you would think you would have an issue with those men. Now you, you now you got tension. You got friction with, with your brothers, man, for no reason. And yeah, we do. Right. We do. I mean, I, I love them. But you do understand that's their job. Carl, hey, we appreciate it, brother. Yeah, man. Hey, you know, the, the, the Lord. Hey, we and that's another thing. You know, brother. A lot of a lot of men of our of, of the nation of Israel. A lot of us are homeless now and things like that. Hey, the script. Hey, it ain't gonna be no homeless Israelites in the kingdom of heaven. All right, this that homelessness, man. This is the last time when our Lord returns, man. That homelessness that we all gonna be wealthy. Okay, and the scriptures confirm that, man. It ain't gonna be, and we gonna see so-called white people out here not having anything, looking for scrap, trying to get something to eat, man. All right, that, that that's why we we looking forward to the. Uh, give me a uh, Romans eight seventeen. This is why we're looking forward to the to the things that are coming. See, a lot of people they only think about the things that are happening now. You gotta you gotta be a visionary. You gotta think about you know, and this goes from homeless people all the way to the people at the top. You gotta think about the things that are coming, man. Go ahead, read that, bro. Uh, this is Romans eight and verse seventeen. And if children and their heirs, uh, you can read that. That's not what I wanted though. Uh, but go ahead. Romans eight and seventeen. And if children, then heirs, then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with with uh, Christ. And so be that we suffer with them, that we may may be also glorified together. Right, I want an 18. Right, exactly. So, out of seats. Yeah, that's right. You yeah. know, so we hey, we gonna be joint heirs with the Messiah, the elect are, you know, so we're we're fighting these things to overcome the time. We're gonna be as the most high, as the Lord is. Go ahead, brother, read the next verse. Uh, this is the point. Verse 18. For for I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. That's right. So the, the sufferings that we going through now, it ain't got nothing compared to the glory that's going to be revealed from the, the Heavenly Father and His Son coming back to the earth, man. All right? It can't compare. So we go, and that's why people think they call this thing hell. All right? See, it's, we're, we living in hell, man. You know, our, we are, we... So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we the only ones on earth that say, uh, Ayo, we kings. It's because it's in our spirit. So the things that we go through now, we're going to know we're going to be returned even to a much stater uh, uh, society of uh, rulership, man. A society where we're ruling, we're in glory, man. So, hey, man, you know, we got to deal with it. We living in hell now. Hell is a condition. We living in hell. So we only got to suffer through hell. But, hey, what, like, uh, like what? Who is that? Pop, DMX, whatever. Say, hey, uh, I got to I gotta make it through hell. I got to uh, get to heaven, so I got to go through hell, man, roughly right. speaking. Yeah, I you know? And I, I, I'm constantly, like, sometimes you'll come to, like, most of the black people, like, don't do the hard You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But they probably said it. Yeah, that's what it is. Anyway, um, yeah, always, the black always come to us. Right. They've been slaving us for years. Yeah, in fact. Years and years. I'm just getting back to the people's minds. <laughs> I'm just getting back with my They own me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I get their money, but you worried about it. Why are you trying to protect them? You well, know what I'm saying? You ride down the street, you see me, you're trying to protect me. I mean, unless, unless one of them calls a, uh, they do your job. Right. You know, you can talk the best way you do it. Hey, brother, look at them. They move down there. They come back. You know what I'm saying? Right. You want me to go, period. Just put right. you up on game. Like, you're going to be here for the next whatever, whatever. You know what? You know what I'm doing? You know what I'm trying to do? Work with me. But see, Work with see me. this thing. Why you trying to protect me, white boy? All that water that we see. Yeah, yeah. They got money. Let me get some. Why you trying to protect me? All right, I feel you, bro. Yeah, they the wicked of the earth. But see, the thing is, the only thing that's gonna get us uh, food, water, salvation, glory is this word, man. Hey, the scripture say, man shall not eat by bread alone. This word is the only thing that can to save us, man. But go ahead and get yours. And I got another one I want you to get to out of one. But go ahead. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you 
and very delicately, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother, and toward the wife of his bosom, and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. That's right. It says uh, a curse. This is the curses of Deuteronomy. It said that uh, a brother's eye will be evil towards his brother. So a lot of them dudes who be, you know, some of these security dudes, cool, we didn't talk to them. But some of them out here got that evil eye towards you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they, they just like them cops who be uh, the so-called black cops. They be ready to shoot down a so-called black man too. They just like them, man. You know, because they got an evil eye towards their brother. They look at, the curse said we would be like that. The light skin versus dark skin. Yeah, man, they join with the wicked. So they just, they want to be as them, so they act that way. Hey, uh, I don't want, you don't remember the script? I, I, I want to say one more thing. Mm -hmm. then I'm, 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 All right, I'm, 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 I got you. Um, Thursday, me and one of the brothers, I mean, they really got hit. They got hit. They got, I to, they got to the point where... He was like, hey, I take my take you for my law. They don't mean that. Yeah. Don't mean that. You know what I mean? We, we can do it right now. The scripture about this. Yes, when we fight, I said, yeah, but we fight. You said, we fight for something. We fight for something. I said, we fight. 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 Security guard gonna lose his job. Right. You know what they gonna do? But talk over them about what we just did. Yep. That's what they. Hey, they, they, they it said they can't sleep. Yeah, they they can't go to sleep it. at night without knowing they did wickedness to our people, man. That's what they, 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 <laughs> they want to see us. Yeah, they, they want to see us fighting against each other, man. Them. You know, you know. But hey, man, you know, hey, pray for the Lord to get your daily bread, bro. You know, because at the end of the day, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Go ahead. So I don't know. I don't know what what means you be doing to get your food, brother. I don't know if you you stealing it. I don't know what you're doing, but you know I, I pay him. You pay him. Hey, keep it real. That's, hey, that's, that's, real, that's real shit. The real shit. I ain't doing no. I ain't doing no crime. I ain't breaking no law. I mean, if I ask him to get you, but for, 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 I feel for, you. For, that's real. You know, but giving it to me willingly. You know, mm -hmm. I ask. I'm not asking. Mm -hmm. I'm asking for a lot of stuff. I ask him. Can you help me get some? Can you give me some money? I'm breaking no law. I feel like that. You know, but you know, but the thing is, I don't know if that's the situation you want to be in. It's not, brother. But hey, man, read this Bible, man, this, and the Lord will give you blessings in ways that you don't understand, man. Because hey, all the meals that you get, that was the Lord. That was the Lord saying, "Hey, this Amen. man gonna eat today." So He put it on that person's spirit to he give you that food. You know, but you know, but I'm, I'm glad you're not stealing. You know, what I'm saying that that's good, man. Because but the scriptures say, uh, you know, talk and go ahead, read that real quick. Huh? You know, the scriptures talk about that. Go ahead, Proverbs six and thirty. Men do not despise a thief if he steals to satisfy his soul when he is hungry. That's right. So, you know, at the end of the day, we ain't telling you to go steal. But, you know, times we've seen men steal food. All right. So we not. At the end of the day, the scriptures say that I shall not steal. But if a man, you got to satisfy your soul. You got to eat, man. We, we That's an understandable situation rather than going and, you know, doing manner of wickedness and killing all people just to get some food. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day. Try, try not to, man. Pray to the Lord, man. Read this Bible, man. This Bible is the only way out because it's going to come a time real soon where people ain't going to be wanting to give you no food. People gonna, All of the food is going to be inaccessible. They ain't going to be able to get to it. They ain't going to be able to give you nothing, man. So, shit, you might be better off than half of these people, real talk, because you might not eat every day. You know, it might be some days you might go hours or days without eating. Hey, they ain't going to have... The time's gonna come where they gonna have to do that. It's gonna be lawlessness out here. You might be in a better situation than they are, but get back to this Bible, man. I know I've seen you with a Bible before. I know you got one, brother. So hey, keep reading, man. Hey, I don't know. Hey, quit shaving that beard off too, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. Just if you want to trim it down, cool, but don't shave that thing off, bro. That's unlawful. But go ahead, uh, Kadash. This is uh, Matthew chapter four, verse four. But he answered and said, "It is written, man shall not live by bread alone." But every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Most High. I got one scripture for you, brother. This is um, Psalms 37 and 32. The wicked watches the righteous. You know, because you were saying, like, um, you were saying about the security guard. You know, um, read again. The wicked watches the righteous. And seeking to slay him, you know. So you know, just like they did um, Trayvon Martin, just like they did Kamika Jenkins, you know, just like they did, um, just like they did um, George Floyd, you know, that that's 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 these white people's job, and, you know. And, and uh, um, I'm not saying all of them, you know, but like the the, the Israelites that you know, like the police officers and stuff, you know, they join in with the um, they join in with the wicked, 
you know, they, they made an oath, they made an oath, you know, to, they made an oath with the so-called white man, you know, so, so just, just you knowing that, you know what I'm saying, you gotta, you gotta be, you gotta um, be circumspect, you know what I'm saying, if you know, if you know the times where they rolled around creeping, you know what I'm saying, just be, just be wise and, you know, because they, 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 give, they, they looking for a reason, you know, to, 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 to kill a, to kill a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Precept for the brother. This is this is, uh, this is uh, Proverbs 16 verse 7, and it says, "When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him." So, and that, that's that's a good thing. That's a good uh, precept for you to know and understand that. So, when you're in your way, if you're pleasing the Lord, the Most High is going to cause your enemies to be at peace with you, man. You know, because it, you got to understand, you're truly a ruler. You're supposed to rule over them. But you're not in the right spirit, or you weren't in the right spirit. But when you come into the right spirit, these people are going to start pleasing you and, 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 and having peace with you out of nowhere. Because it's your spirit. People can tell everything about you sometimes when they just look at you. Okay? And when you speak it. But when you, when you have the word in you, you conduct yourself differently. The way you even stand, the way you speak, the way, you know, your, your mannerisms, everything changes. And hey. people are going to change towards you. Yep. Hey, the Messiah was homeless, man. Uh, you know, go, go ahead and read that scripture. All right. uh, and this is Matthew 8 and verse 20. Should I read it verbatim or? No, he know the name. Right. He know the name, <laughs> Matthew 8 and 20. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, Yahweh Shai to the world, he can call Jesus. His real name is Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, The foxes have holes, and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man have not. Have not where to lay his head. That's right. Hey, the Messiah was homeless before too, man. People don't know that, <laughs> you know. You know, oh, this guy, you know, oh, he he peace and talking about love. He was homeless, man. All right, he had a period of time where he was homeless. This, this is how you know he was truly the meek of the earth, man. He he lived those lifestyles. But see, he said he came as a lamb. All right, he came as a lamb, man, meek. But now this this is how you know he's coming back in his glory. He said he shall not meet thee as a man. He come back in all his power, man. All right, can you can, can you imagine yourself now where? Uh, you were homeless and now you own this block Alright and then fucking security guards Come up to you now what they gonna say That's how. That's basically the reversal that's gonna happen With the earth <laughs> alright That's what's about to happen man no, I got you. And you, you keeping your beard you know, you, that's, that, that, that's you keeping the laws of the Lord So you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna grow wisdom by Just by you keeping your beard you know, That's, that's, that's the law of the Lord yeah. I got a scripture James 4 and 8 Draw nigh to the most high and he will draw nigh to you You know like the brother was saying you know uh, keeping your beard, not eating pork, crab, shrimp, lobster, not getting lined up. You know, you, you keep it simple commandments. You know, um, the Heavenly Father sees that. He sees that you're growing your beard out. He sees that you're not eating um, pork, crab, shrimp, lobster. You know, and then it says, draw nigh to the Most High, and He will draw nigh to you. How you draw nigh to the Most High? By keeping His laws, at your commandments. This, this is the whole duty why, 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 why we put on the earth. Yeah, that, that's even more integrity. You know, you're homeless. But you still don't eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. If, it, if it's offered to you, you know, the Lord will see that. Yes, yes, yes. Brother, I promise you, if you start keeping, if you start keeping, you know, just say, okay, I'm gonna do one thing at a time. I'm, I'm gonna stop shaving my beard. You know, the, you're gonna see, you're gonna see a difference. Yep. You know, what I'm people saying? will start giving you cheese pizza instead of pepperoni. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, brother. Okay, this is uh, Matthew chapter six and twenty-six. Behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not. Neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feed them. Are ye not much better than they? Uh, that's right. So, hey, the, the, the Lord is like, we're, we're bet those, these, all of these, you think about the birds and things like that, they, the Lord always provide a way for them to eat, man. All right? So he, he esteems Israel as his, his beloved children, his beloved people. He said, are we not more better than them? He, hey, even when you read Genesis, he says he gave us uh, dominion. He said he gave us dominion over the animals of the earth, man. And so, hey, we are above them. He said, how much more are you, man? All right, so, hey, the Lord, bless you come back to these law, and your commandments, you'll receive blessings. And, hey, you know, I know a lot of, I, I, you don't got to explain your situation, but I know a lot of people are homeless for varying reasons, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, if it's your will just to get your daily bread, the Lord will get it to you. But if you want to get up off the street, the Lord might bless you with that, too. But you come back unto him, man, and he'll start showing you a lot of things, brother. I was shy. I 
never thought about it. That's real. Everything. And he could have. He could have made you homeless just so you can hear us talk. You never know, brother. You know, you know. You, you could have moved what? somewhere else and never heard the, the word. Man. Be doing yeah, like yeah, bro. You most never know, man. It. But you, you said you never thought about love. You see that the way of the world, the love of the world is different than the love that the Heavenly Father speaks of. Go ahead, bro. This is the love of the Lord. First John chapter five and three. For this is the love of God. That we keep his commandments. That's the love of God, man, is we keep his commandments. And this is New Testament, all right? So if, we, if you say you love God or you love people or you love the earth, all right, it says to keep his commandments, all right? So those simple things starting off, like we say, you know, letting your beard grow. That's showing that you love the most high right then and there, man. Go ahead, brother. And his commandments are not grievous. And that's not even hard, bro. You know what I'm saying? Keep growing your beard ain't hard. It happens naturally. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't even got to do nothing, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're right. You do more work cutting it off. Like, damn, I'm going to get some shaving cream. What barber can I get to line me up real quick? Like, you doing more. You know what I'm saying? Your beard grows naturally, bro. You see all of us. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got no lineups. We ain't going to the barbershop getting crispy. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, growing your beard is natural, bro. You know what I, I get it. It be hot out here, but we men, bro. You know what I'm saying? Grow that beard, man. You know, we ain't women. Women women uh, don't got no facial hair. You know, we're, 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 we're appreciating the way the Lord made us, man. Yep. You know, we're, we're showing the Lord like we, we appreciate him for making us distinctly different. Like, right. Instead of being like everybody else. Like So-called what? Sorry, sorry. Like, yeah, you, just like you said, the so-called white man, he likes to shave his yep. beard. But when he's walking his woman, walking with his women, he got long hair, his woman got long hair. There's times you can't even tell the difference. Who's the man and who's the woman? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They shave them beards off, man. They be looking terrible. You see these so-called white men, man? They look like damn worms, bro. You know, they said they're the basis of men. They and See, that's because they promote, uh, first of all, they're trying to get away from their, uh, their uh, idea, because they're hairy people. They try to get away from that. That's number one. Secondly, they promote uh, feminism in America, all right? They promote feminism around the world. So them, a man looking, young, trying to say you look younger, but we know what they say in the world, black don't crack. You know what I'm saying? You know, brother, brothers be looking hella young and be way older, all right? This, this chick the other day told me she thought I was 20 years old, bro. Bro, I'm, I'm like 11 years older than that, bro. You know what I'm saying? But it's, the thing is, when you get... When you start doing this thing for a while, man, the Lord will magnify you in a way that you, you have not seen, man. And even if you're still going through hell, Job was rich. Job still got put through hell, man. But he said at his latter end, the Lord blessed him twice as much, man. We at that latter end. We at that latter end, man. Hey, the scriptures say repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. You know? And this is your wisdom. This is your wisdom, not their wisdom. And this is what we got over there. And you gotta, you have to understand too that, and when you understand that this book is not for everybody, it's not for the other nations. But always be mindful that we do have those of our people scattered amongst the other nations. So you may have uh, our people that that may look like so-called white people. But unless you come into the scriptures and get the understanding of the scriptures, you'll never understand the spirit. So he may look like a white man, but then his spirit may come off like a so-called black man because that you're given the understanding through the scriptures. See, our spirit is the same. Don't get it twisted. We're in captivity, and we 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 took it on the ways of the other nations. But the Most High, the way He has us recorded in the Scriptures, that's who you are. So when you under, when you read the Scriptures and you get to understand the characteristics of our people, and then you apply that to the world, then you're able to see different. So now you now when you interact with a with a, a so-called white man, but you're not knowing in, 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 that he may be an Israelite, okay? Because we were scattered even across uh, throughout Europe, okay? This is where you get. Uh, uh, let's say, uh, I'll say, uh, who would I say? Conor McGregor. Have you seen Conor, Conor McGregor before? Uh, MMA fighter, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Men like him, or like uh, yeah. Justin Timberlake. Yeah, right. Now, when you, when you, I mean, I mean, you can clearly understand that like, this guy has a soul. Yeah. He's a brother. Because if you didn't see him ever, and you just turned on the radio, and you just turned on the radio, and you heard him sing and speak, so you would think it's a so-called black man in, in, on the radio. His father, that's his father. That's him. That's so. Yeah, we, I, I, the brother sent a picture of uh, a Drake uh, son the other day. Man, Drake son looked like a little redhead ginger Edomite man. Right. You know. But you you look at it, you look at Drake's dad. 
it looked like a straight Judite, you know? And so that's how you know it ain't about your skin color. And that's what, that's what people don't understand. Your skin, no, don't worry. Color is important. But, you know, the Lord put those on people as a signifier. But that's why the Lord said that leprosy is, is a, a uncleanness and a shame unto you, man. All right? We're trying to step back into that, man. You know? Our gift is a spiritual gift, not a carnal gift. Right. Okay, so our, our Lord is showing us how to That's use and apply the, our spiritual like gift. We're actually like, learning here in yeah. Babylon how to use the spirit and apply the spirit. And you know that uh, I was trying to, damn, I lost my train of thought. But you know, these people out here, oh, you know, we got brothers in Great Millstone that look like so called Edomites, man. All right? But the thing is, you know, we and we love them brothers through and through because we know that they are brothers. But, uh, you don't think them brothers like, man, I can't wait to get my melanin back. They may not say it, but hey, you know, they like, damn, I can't wait to get my melanin back, man. You know, one of the brothers uh, in London said he had a dream. His woman, he said his woman got leprosy. He said she had a vision of her in the kingdom and she was walking with real long hair down her back and her skin was uh, melanated, man. You know, we're going we're gonna to step back into that, man. I want to throw them oils on that skin. Ooh, shine. It's a rare thing, too, to see in this society, you know, a dark skinned woman. With long hair, uh, yep. <laughs> you know that, that, that's something that the Lord took away from. Them. And they're more beautiful when they let their hair grow, and it's long. You know the yeah, things that they can do with it; they just look of uh, 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 royalty. Mm -hmm. Hey, re read uh, Micah seven and seven, Bible Micah seven through nine. Seven through nine. Come on, this is Micah chapter seven and verse seven. Therefore, I will look unto the Lord; I will wait for the power of my salvation. My power will hear me. That's right. We gonna look, we gotta look into the Lord, man. Everything else done failed, man. The marches have failed. The Black Panther Party done failed. NFAC shooting themselves in the leg. Everything has failed, man. We gotta look into our salvation. Is the Lord, man? Go ahead. Rejoice not against me, O oh my enemy. Mm -hmm. When I fall, I shall rise. That's right. When we fall, we gonna rise, man. You know because it says a righteous man falls seven times, but he get it up again. Go ahead. When I sit in darkness. The Lord, Yahweh, shall be a light unto me. That's right. Like when you read uh, Psalms 119 and 105, it says, Let thy word be a light unto my, uh, a light unto my path. All right? So the, the word of the Lord is, is our light. The, the Lord says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, man. The way through this is through the Father and his Son. Now read uh, verse 9. Go or, on. Where it continues. Like I know where you're saying. Go on. Verse 9. I will bear the indignation of the Lord. Because I have sinned against them. That's right. So the hell that we going through, whatever we did, whatever is happening to us, we deserve it. Huh. That's the thing that people don't understand. Whatever is going into your life, hey, brother, now I, I, the Lord could have put you in this position for a reason. But hey, whatever happened, the Lord said you deserve to be in this state. All right. When brothers end up homeless, a brothers end up broke, a brothers end up uh, your, your woman left you, a brothers end up whatever the situation, you did something to deserve it. But the thing to, to how to counteract that is to repent from your sins. So all of the things that the Lord put upon you, you, you got to say, all right, hey, Lord, forgive me, forgive me. Because not, not only are we repenting for the things we did in this life, we're repenting for all the things we did in the past lives against the Lord. All right. So he says, I will bear the indignation, which means I will bear, I will take the righteous anger and fury that the Lord got against you because I sinned against him. Go ahead. Uh, that word repent means to return. Yep. So repent, somebody's just saying return back unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I'm uh, starting from the top again. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he plead my case and execute my judgment for me. See that? Until he plead my case. All right. Yeah. Hey, our Lord, our Lord and Savior, he's pleading our cases on our behalf. He said, Lord, this man is, he's doing this. He's serving you. He's trying to change his ways, man. Okay. Go ahead. He will bring me forth to the light and I will, it's like it. He will bring me forth to the light. And I shall be, and, and I shall behold his righteousness. That's right. We're going to behold the, the, the heavenly father's righteousness, man. We've got to see the kingdom of heaven. We've got to see all of his glory, man. We see uh, chariots visiting the earth, man. We're seeing these different countries blowing up. We're seeing World War III happening. We're seeing America on the decline. We're seeing all of uh, these basketball games are finally being taken out of the earth. We're seeing Babylon falling right before our very eyes, man. And we just wait. See, right now... Everybody can't see it. You, people getting a glimpse with this COVID. Wait until they forcing to put their vaccine on you, that RFID chip. Wait until there's lawlessness in the streets. Then they're going to see that the Heavenly Father and the things we've been saying are real. But then, you know, hey, not, Lord willing, it's not one of you, brother. But it's going to be one week where you come out here and we ain't going to be here no more. 
All right? And that, the, the Lord going to say, he, he said that in Amos, the 8th chapter, 8 and 11, he said, I'm going to take my men off the streets, man. They're not going to be able to receive the word of the Most High anymore. All right? And you said something about Chip. Chip, yeah, yeah. So, um, Somebody something. uh, get the uh, Chip it's sign. Hey, it's over there. Get the Chip sign. Quinn. Yeah, so this, right. So this uh let's get Revelation thirteen real quick. So in the Bible, okay, so this is right now, they're 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 doing a lot of things with this right now because this is mandate this is gonna become a mandate throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, and they're gonna they're po- trying to get this popped off in Babylon right now. They're gonna try to put this in everybody's body. Okay? It's because this is how they're gonna try to make the uh their rulership come into fruition. They're gonna be able we're gonna read the verses on it. Go ahead, brother. Uh, this is Revelation chapter 13 and verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. And the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as should not worship the image of the beast should be killed. That's right. So, hey, man, we it says don't, that not worship the image of the beast, man. With the, the, this beast system, this uh, based on the so-called white man system, EU, NATO. They're ruling this thing that with the elites. They're ruling this. All of this, everything we see, they have a, a complete hand on that. When you read Job 9 and 24, it says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Okay? But we, uh, Lord, through the spirit of the Lord, we don't want to take this. And we won't. All right? With the spirit of the Lord uh, being upon us. Go ahead. Verse 16. And he causes all, both small and great. Right, small and great. Okay? And this is talking about children and adults. That also goes into uh, uh, your, your reputation in society. So just like a homeless man or a rich man. All right? It goes into that too. Go ahead. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, yep. free and bond. Those people who are in jail, those people who are uh, on the streets. Go ahead. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. This is biblical prophecy that they're going to try to put this. And they already have a thing called Project Jumpstart out now where they're taking the vaccines and they're putting RFID chips in them. All right. So they're going to try to say everybody who got to take the uh, who, who has everybody's going to take this chip to prove that you don't have COVID-19. Or everybody's going to take this chip because they want to have the dollars going to collapse. So they're going to have to say a way of uh, staying your currency, a way of staying your, your health, uh, your immunization records. They're going to be able to tr- track and control everybody with this chip. And, and in the NFL, they got the chip in the wristband. Yep. Uh, Lions, uh, the lighter football players, they got chips. They're, they're conditioning them to get ready to put that chip in their hands, man. And to be honest with you, I don't think this is the final version of it. This is the older picture. So you got to understand that throughout time, they uh, refurbished, made it better. So this is, this is, it may not look like this because they have nanotechnology. So they can make it even better now. So don't think that it might just look like this. Don't think that they're going to pull it out you shouldn't be taking, and it's going to look exactly like You that. shouldn't be taking anything, anything. Any of them sh- because that goes back to the law, not being able to take something you're saying. Yeah, Okay, give me a I said, tell you to take it? No, no. I said, can I refuse to get that chip? You know, he said, it's going to happen somewhere down the line. No, we already got something. He said, you don't got to be able to get around it. You know, you don't have to be able to get around it. You don't have to get around it. You don't have to get around it. You don't have to get around it. If you ever have to get to the hospital, they're going to sneak it into the heavy. They're going to sneak it into you. If I go around, I mean, I'm going to be a spirit. I'm going to go around the line. Yep. You want to write fast? You know what his name is? Right, right, right. Yahweh yeah. is who you call God, and Yahweh Shai is who you call God. Yeah, yeah. What you got? Three. He got three. He got three. Yeah, yeah that's exactly yeah. what you're saying. Right. You got to lean on him. Exactly, brother. Exactly. And that, that's what a majority of these people won't have. It's, it's hella people with the chip already. All right, but the thing is, is it, this is uh, it's going to come a time like you say he's going to shield you. So who knows how that's going to happen? It might be times where you might get delivered out of a situation. It might be a time when the Lord harden your skin if they try to put it in there. You know, how Superman the needles bend. You never know, man. But you got to believe. You got to believe on the Lord. Go ahead. Uh, Revelations three and ten. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. That's right. He said, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, because we know these 
law, statutes, and commandments because we follow him and know his name. He says, I will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Okay, because not only is, is our people going to willfully want this, but it's also going to be tempted. They're going to say, you can't eat or you can't drink. Because we said, uh, when we read Revelation 13 and 16, all right, he says, uh, people, uh, you aren't going to be able to buy nor sell. Did we ever get to that verse? I don't think we got to that verse. Yeah, let's, let's read 17 too. Because people are not going to be able to buy or sell without it. You, they already got like Apple Pay. You go in the store, you swipe your phone. You don't even need your credit card anymore. So they're getting their call. That thing on your debit card, all right? You know, when you have debit cards, right? Exactly. They got the chip already on there. So they, they got people preconditioned with saying chip already. So when they say you got to get a chip, you're like, ah, no big deal. We, was at, we had chips in our bank cards already. But uh, go ahead, read that, brother. Fine. It's Revelation 13 and 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that hath the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. That's right. It says no man ain't going to be able to buy or sell. So that's why the scriptures say, uh, somebody can give me that pilgrims on the earth uh, uh, scripture, Bible shot. anybody can. Uh, but uh, that's what it says no man might buy nor sell, man. So people are not going to be able to, you're not going to be able to walk uh, uh, up in the Anzos and be like, yeah, let me get a, 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 a Mediterranean bowl. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be like, where your chip at? You know, you can't, well, you can't get no food then. You know, so, hey, but the Lord, we got to believe in the Lord, man. Go ahead, bro. This is 2 Ezra chapter 16, verse 40. Oh, my people, hear my word. Make ye ready to thy battle. Mm -hmm. And in those evils, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. That's right. The Lord says, get ready for these battles. This is a this is a so ensuing battle and war that's coming upon our people, man. And so they say, in those times... Uh, we got to be like pilgrims on the earth. We're going to be out here just like, hey, brother, you know what I'm saying? That's the thing. You're a homeless man. All right, you already kind of like a pilgrim on the earth, brother. You got to find your way to get your daily bread. All right? So the Lord says that's how uh, his, his, saint, his men and his uh, elect are going to be in that day, too. We're going to be out here trying to find. The Lord says, my servant shall eat. So we ain't got to worry about going in there and, and swiping a chip. The Lord, hey, the Lord fed Elijah by ravens, man. Ravens came out of nowhere and dropped some food for Elijah, man. All right? Even though they got you, my servant shall eat. And they try to force that chip upon you. You still have have faith in your heart, my shine. We can give you spiritual powers then. Come on, break loose, get out of there. That's right. You know, you're right. We spiritual powers, man. You know, hey, it's gonna be. We gonna brother's gonna be doing the things unimaginable, man. That, but only if you got the belief in the Lord. Go ahead, bro. All right. This is Isaiah sixty-five and thirteen. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh. Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. That's right. His servants are going to eat, but these a lot of these people are going to end up being hungry because even them taking this chip, if lawlessness still hasn't happened yet, it's going to come a time where these people ain't going to be able to eat, man. All right? They're going to be trying to find a way to eat. They're going to be out here starving. They're going to be killing each other over a can of beans, man. But we're going to be be good, man. You know, who knows? The Lord might bless us with a feast with all of our, with all of our, with our many wives around us, man, and the brothers. You know, you never know, man. And even if not, even if it's a situation where the Lord only give you a little bit or feeds you every couple days, he's going to give you the food to sustain you for the times and the things that you have to encounter. Understand, too, it's just that this chip is not only for buying and selling. You're giving these people remote access to your body and to your spirit because you're, they understand that the body is run off of uh, uh, frequency and light energy. So they, have, they understand that. So once you, it's like an antenna for them. Okay, so, so they'll be able to shut down organs, stop you from breathing, stop you from doing things, stop you from believing in the Most High because they know the part of the brain that, that, that gives you that ability to believe in the Most High. So they'll be able to cut all those things off. And you know... That post, when that RFID chip is supposed to cut 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 it off, period. Right. The, getting that RFID chip supposed to cut out, I think it's like the pineal gland, which what connects you to the... Um, like it connects you to... They, they know the area that connects you to the most high. And that RFID chip, that, that's going to turn that off. So you ain't going to be... They, and they basically can control what you think. And you see they put copper wire in there. That's copper wire. Your body, a copper is a is a conductive force. All right? They put copper in it so they can they can enter, uh, emit the type of energies that they want inside your body, man. All right? And try to cut off your spiritual weapon. And, and the thing is, we ain't just telling... Let's get a revelation. Uh, I don't want to get that from you. Revelation 14 and 9. We ain't just telling people don't get this. It's called the mark of the beast for a reason. We ain't telling you get this, oh, just because Edom, Edom like this big bad guy. It's because Esau ain't the one you got to worry about. <laughs> All right? The so-called white man ain't the one you got to worry about. All right? It's the heavenly father in his judgment if you take that. Go ahead, bro. Revelation 14 and 9. And 
the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. And not just because it says forehead or hand, you can put it in your, your kneecap if you want. That, that's uh, your whole body, man. The reason why it says for a uh, they did a video on it. It says your right hand and your forehead is because those are the most uh, conducive places in your body for heat and things to be receptive. That's why. But you can put it in any part of your body. So you can't, don't, some cats try to be like, you know what? I'm going to just get it in my elbow and the Lord won't judge me for it. No, nah, it don't work like that. Go ahead. <laughs> Verse 10. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh. Mm-hmm. You're going to drink of the, the, the wine of wrath from God, man. Go ahead. Which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Right. So that's not talking about hell. That's talking about thermonuclear missiles destroying America. That's what that's talking about. Because 200 million missiles are about to come destroy this place. And he says uh, that brimstone. All right, that 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 brimstone is going to come down and is going to destroy the, uh, destroy America off the face of the earth, man. So read that last verse for me again, one more time. Verse ten: The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, mm-hmm. which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, yep. and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Right, the holy angels, because the, 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 the same time those missiles are coming down is when the heavenly Father is going to uh, come come and make his salvation for his elect. So his holy angels are going to be watching the salvation, Amen. and then they're going to be, we, Lord willing, we're up, we're going to beamed up to the heavens. We're going to be watching the destruction on America according to Revelation 15 chapter. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. Revelation 15, starting at verse 2. And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass, Mingle with fire. Right, see a glass mingle with fire. That's because looking down through the firmament of the heavens from the chariots and the, uh, uh, the, the fire is talking about the destruction. Okay, so we're seeing the destruction, the fire mingled with glass looking down on the destruction of America. Go ahead. And then they had gotten the victory over the beast. That's right. We're going to have, Lord willing, we're his chosen. We're going to have victory over, the, over these uh-huh. devils, man. All right, we're going to rejoice now. When you read Revelation 18 chapter, it says Babylon should be brought down with violence. All right, and we're going to have, it says rejoice ye heavens because we're going to have victory over them. Go ahead. Black lives matter. And then, Black lives matter. and over his image, and over his mm-hmm. mark, Black lives matter. and over the number of his name. That's right, and over his image, and over his mark, and over his number of his name. And even when you go into uh, uh, that word uh, mark, it goes back to a word karagma, okay, in the Greek, which means an incision of the flesh. All right, so when people try to talk about the mark of the beast, they're trying to say it's Christianity and all this kind of stuff, which is nonsense. Okay, it has to be something that's literally put into your body because now you made a decision to say, I'm not for the Heavenly Father anymore, I'm for the, this system and I'm for the wicked. Okay, so the, the Heavenly Father said, We're going to see the judgment of these devils. Go ahead and stand on the sea of glass having the harps of the Most High. Right, having the harps of the Most High. We're going to be giving all praise to the Heavenly Father and His Son for delivering us, okay? Just like in the time of Egypt. When you remember the Israelites in Egypt, when we when we were going through their Red Sea, man, we were giving glory to the Heavenly Father. We were thanking Him because our, our oppressors were ruling over us. But He said, hey, he, he parted the Red Sea to make a way for us to escape. Okay, and so this time we're going to escape just like they try to show you in churches the rapture. All right? People don't understand that, all right? But the, Is- the Israelites are the ones who are going to be getting beamed out of here, man. Right. We're going to be looking down, seeing the judgment upon all of these people, man. Right. All right? Lord willing, we be found to that number. All right? But that, that, this, is all, this is all biblical prophecy playing out. But he said in his last days, his real men are going to come and teach you, teach the world of the truth of the Bible and the true things that are happening to the earth, man. So don't, don't the ultimate message, don't take that shit. <laughs> At the end of the day, that's the, that's the point of that message, man. All right, brother. Come on, brother. Uh, this is John chapter 14, verse 12. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I shall, the works that I shall, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. You know, it says, He that believeth on me. You know, mm-hmm. great, we're going to be doing greater works. The, the greatest man that ever walked this earth. Yep. No, but you gotta believe on you gotta believe on the Alpha, you know, shot, you know, in the time of evil, in the time of Jacob's trouble. You, know, you can't take the RFI picture, man. Right? You're gonna be uh you're gonna be uh uh thermonuclear missiles. That's that's the ending. You ever been burned before, brother? By any way? Shit hurt, don't you? 
<laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, that shit hurt, man. And so, my point is, the Lord says, this is going to be a fire without mixture. Which means, it's going to be pure heat, man. Pure radiation. Pure fire over your whole body. He said it's going to be so hot that your spirit is going to feel it. Get uh, Zechariah 14 and 12, man. It's going to be so hot that your spirit is going to burn, man. <laughs> You know, you know, you don't want to feel that heat, man. You, you, you know, touch the stove or something like that. You like ah, you know, <laughs> hey man, this, this ain't no comparison, man. Who got it? Go ahead, bro. Mike Allen, you got it. Yeah, fourteen and twelve. Zechariah right, fourteen and twelve, and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Jerusalem is talking about us. Uh, Jerusalem is a, a people before a place. Which in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shalom, which means a uh, city of peace. Okay? And we're the city of peace. We, we, we are peaceable people if you really think about that, man. You know, like you said, I just be trying to eat. You know what I'm saying? You know, we, we harm each other, but we ain't going over to no other country bombing people. We don't do stuff like that, man. Go ahead, bro. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. That's right. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, man. So you imagine standing. I don't even want to imagine it, but a, a visual. You stand on your feet and your, your flesh start melting away, man. All right? <laughs> Go ahead. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. Your eyes are dissipating while you stand in there, man. Your eyes are melting. Go ahead. And their tongues shall consume away in their mouth. Hey, well, there ain't no more talk shit. Ain't no more shit talking those last days. Your tongue gonna start to evaporate, man. All right? You don't want to. That's thermonuclear missile, man. All right, you don't want to get hit with that, man. And that's why we're telling people to repent. We're, and they, they try to say we about hate. We about love. We're telling people the only way out, the only way how to be saved, man. But these people don't want to hear that. They want their eyes to be consumed away in their eyes, their holes. They want their tongues to get burnt up. And the Lord said we're going to rejoice at this, man. We're going to rejoice. Why would we be rejoicing when people are, are their downfall? It's because we told you first. All right. So if a man's about to rob your house, and I say, "Hey, man, a man ain't coming at three o'clock to rob your house," and you don't do nothing about it, you don't sit there and watch. If that man rob you, hey, I told you, bro, you didn't make preparations. So that's why we gonna rejoice because we warned the people first, man. All right. All right. I just um, I just wanted to let you know that you know, I just wanted to give you something to look forward to. We're, we're, we're looking forward to the kingdom of heaven. But remember, our our Lord is the Adam of the world. She's saying it. Okay? And 1 John 3 and 2 says, Beloved, now are we the sons of the Most High, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. Okay? For we shall see him as he is. So our body is going to change. See, the Lord, when he died and he rose up again, that was something different. And then he came back to his brothers and he ate food. Angels don't eat food. So he was the first of his kind. So when the scripture says when we see him, we yeah. shall be like him. That's you have that. You can, you can look forward to it. If you're a part of that level, then we're going to be like him. I'm trying to be like the Lord, man. That, that, that's, that's our role model. You know, everybody out here want to be like these stars and celebrities. Our role model is the greatest man that walked the earth. <laughs> you know, so who, who's going to compare? Hey, it says, uh, give me uh, Matthew, the 27th chapter. Hey, he, he did so many works and so many miracles, man. All right? Uh, Matthew 27. You know, the towards the end, the same thing. No. As he did, but even more. No, no, no. Right? It's, it's not yeah, better. It's like, you, you, things you, like you, friends for second. Man. When he returns, he's going to gather his people. He's going to gather his men. Those who believe. It's like 20, I think. But we're going to be like him. Not on the same level. The end. Oh, no, it's going to be unlike what the world has ever seen. Because we're the first. We're the first family. So when the most high going to be anything new, he's going to do with his people. Uh, 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 the party that you saw at first. Acts 1. Acts 1. I think this one is it. Contained in the book. Uh, you got it, my man. So it brings out now. I'm already there, right? So what verse that? Uh, yeah, John 21 and 24. Uh, get yours first. Uh, this is Acts chapter 1. Yeah, Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Spirit is a the Holy Spirit is come upon you, and ye shall be witness unto me both in Jerusalem 
and in all Judea and Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. That's what's happening right now. The Lord said we're going to receive power, man. And this ain't talking about like, like oh yeah, y'all just going to be, nah, this is real power, man. When you read about the apostles and the disciples, man, they were actually, they had spiritual power, man. They were healing people. And right now we're healing through the word, but it's going to come a time where brothers going, you know, if you if you got a bad, brothers going to have dreams of it too. You got a bad knee, a brother going to touch your knee, you're going to be able to walk straight, man. And the Lord says we're going to heal, heal the lepers. We're going to uh, uh, make the uh, the lame to walk, man. All these things are going to become real, man. Okay, who got the uh, the uh, Luke or the John? Okay. John 21 and 20, 25, 24, 24. Who got it? Go ahead, bro. John chapter 21, verse 24. This is the disciple was testified. Uh, list up just a little, a little bit from y'all. John chapter 21, verse 24. This is the disciple which testified of these things and wrote these things. And we know that his testimony is true. That's right. His testimony is true. And it says testify means to uh, witness. Okay. We are witnesses of the glory of the heavenly father and his son. Go ahead. And there are also many other things which Yahweh did. The which, if there should be written every one, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. You see that? The Lord did so many, the, who the world even calls Jesus, all right? He did so many great works that the books can't even contain how much, how many miracles and how much power he had, man. Okay? We, we only got a few of them written in here, man. All right? And they, the world can't contain it, man. That, he, was, hey, he was waking up doing what works, man. All right. So how, what are these people talking about? So this that's the man that we reverence. OK, we ain't out here trying to. Oh, hey, how can I dunk this ball the best? Or what's my best voice I can sing in? Forget all of that, man. We talking about real power here, man. All right. These people don't understand what power is, man. <laughs> right. Hey, I don't know about you, brother. I want since I was a young when I was a jit, I was like, man, it'd be cold to fly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? See, you just wake up in the morning shit. I'm about to go fly to the stove. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> go ahead, bro. Kind of a long one. Sirach 43, starting at 29. The Lord is terrible and very great and marvelous in his power. You see that? So that's why we, that's why we understand that's why we fear the Lord. It says he's very great and terrible. You know, everybody only likes to see the nice side of God. You know, that's the only side everybody wants to see. Oh, he's such a good guy. He loves everybody. He's my homeboy. He got a terrible side to him, too, man. He called the king of terrors, man. Go ahead, bro. That's terrifying. Yeah, that's terrifying. Just, just, just these images, man. You know, when you, when you got, when you got movies like uh, X Men and uh, Avengers and all that, them powers, you be like, oh shit, man, they cold. Hey, how much more? Where do you think they got all that from the Bible? All right, go ahead. Yeah, I was shot. You know, he's described. He has red eyes. Oh, that's, not a, that's, that's a terrible sight. Yeah, man. Yep. Fear. 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 Verse thirty. When ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as he can, for even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary, for ye cannot far enough. Right, it says, so when you exalt him, exalt all you can, because we can't go far enough. It's not enough that we can do to praise the Heavenly Father. Hey, hey man, everything that we do, we got to give him glory for, man. Just, just being a, waking up, breathing, being able to walk, hey, man, all of those, that's how we glory the Lord, man. He don't, bro. He don't. He don't like you don't like cowards. Yep. That's right. He says tabernacles with me. He says, uh, he said, the effeminate shall not inherit the kingdom of the most high, man. <laughs> the effeminate. So you got these little sissies out here, man. They ain't getting in the chariots. Them little dudes be walking around with that little limp wrist. Hey, how you doing? They ain't making it in no little chariot, man. The Lord said he, the Lord is an austere man, man. He right. want men. Hey, it said birds of a feather flock together. He want men, bro. He ain't about these little timid punks out here, man. He ain't with that, man. Go ahead, bro. Thirty-one. Who who has seen him that he might tell us, and who can magnify him as he is? Mm -hmm. There are yet hid greater things than these be, for we have seen but a few of his works. We only seen a few of his works, man. 
You know, we only read, uh, that's what the scriptures talk about us believing and not seeing, man. We only seen a few of his works. Wait until this thing get unfolded, man. Wait until them chariots come. Wait until we see them angels come down. Wait until we see Howard Shaw come down. People don't know what power is, man. Hey, they gonna, they, they in for a sore sight, man. But we glory in that. We excited. You know, through the spirit, we excited, man, because we know what's about to come. So we're giving the Lord, hey, let's get a quick verse on the fear, uh, Proverbs 1 and 8. Because we got to fear the Lord. And actually also get that uh, 2 Corinthians, uh, the fear of the Lord. Uh, yeah, huh. Proverbs uh, 1 and 8. Mm -hmm. It might be 7, but I think 8, 7 or 8. It's Proverbs chapter 1. I started at 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Mm -hmm. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. That's right. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, man. So when you understand that you're afraid of the things that he can do to you, Hebrews 10 and 31 says, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. All right? So when you fear the Lord, you already, you're starting to gain some wisdom, man. That we, we age. We grew our beards because we scared. <laughs> we like, if, if, you know what I'm saying? God can be like, all right, well, if you don't want to grow your beard, I'm going to take your head off. <laughs> all right? That's cool with me. You know, oh, you don't want to grow your beard? All right, I'm going to burn your face so you can't grow a beard. You know, you never know, man. The fear of the Lord, man, is the beginning of knowledge. So you start to learn, man. All right, go ahead, bro. Oh, he says fools, dis he say fools despise knowledge. Fools despise knowledge. Fools despise instruction. All right, and when you also he says in Hosea, he says, my people are foolish, man. All right, they, are, they, lack, they lack knowledge, man. Okay, uh, uh, go ahead, bro. Verse 8, Proverbs 1 and 8, my son... Hear the instruction of thy father and forsake not the law of thy mother. That's right. For, hey, forsake not the law, man. You know, we're not supposed to forsake the laws, man. We got to keep these laws, the, the laws of the Heavenly Father. And also it goes back to Sirach 1 and 14. It talks about, I believe, fear and, and wisdom as well, man. The fear of the Lord. You got that persuade, man? Who got the, yeah, go ahead, get that for me. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, starting at verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Mashiach. That everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he has done, whether it be good or bad. See, you got to receive the thing. We got, we all get rewards. The Lord coming out passing out trophies, man. Either you're getting a reward for your righteousness or you're going to get a reward for your wickedness. And your, your reward for wickedness is going to be judgment. All right, go ahead. Verse 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. That's how we all got persuaded, man. We all were convicted because we like, hey, if we don't change our ways, the Lord can kill us, man. If I, you know what I'm saying? He can kill us for doing the things that we're doing, man. You going to keep serving idol gods? All right, I'll kill you. All right, you want to keep smoking weed? I'll kill you. All right, you want to keep sleeping with other men's wives? I will kill you. That's what God is saying, man. Nice guy. All right. <laughs> They are maniac. If he can send you to hell for just not following his laws, right. that's a maniac. He's a righteous maniac. He, he well, is. A maniac. In a way, he's he a righteous play, maniac. That, the, this brother here, this brother always say, man, what kind of man speaks like this? When you read in the Bible the type of judgments that he does to people, you're like, man, I'm going to burn you, I'm going to melt you, yeah, I'm going to kill you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, he's In a way, you know, I, don't want, I ain't calling the Lord a maniac no, and no, wickedness, but he's a righteous maniac because he... His judgments are his judgments are unprecedented, man. He ain't playing around, man. Right, right. He's a promise. I'm attack person. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you for a fact. I'm gonna kill you. For, right. Uh, he had one, but you, I think, would you finish on yours? Yeah. Okay. Well, get yours. I just wanted to mention this to the brother. Uh, one one thing that the scripture does, man, it, 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 it shows you the subtle things about your spirit that ain't that ain't right. Because once you start reading the scriptures, then you'll start understanding. The things that are wrong with you. Because it's hard to see what's wrong with you if you're in the world. But when you come back and return to the Lord and you conduct yourself in like manner, then you'll understand anything that's not allowing you to walk in the spirit of the Lord, that's an issue. And it's not something that, it's, it's not, it may not be easy, it may not be easy to correct, but if you have faith, you'll be able to correct it. See, see, the it's the Lord, Lord man. Hey, 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 you gotta say the water. Your house will buy shit. The water, the water, the water, the water, the water means, means thank you. Thank you. Your house, your house, your house, your house, your house. That's saying thank you. That's saying thank you 
God and his son. And I even have a You ain't even ask. See, we were just talking about it, you see? You know? And I bet you that ain't got no pork on it. <laughs> I bet you it don't. Anzo, yeah, that's good food too. You see what I'm saying? That's how the, hey man, the Lord, man. I got a scripture. This is um Sirach chapter 25 and verse 12. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of his love. And faith is the beginning of cleaving unto him. All right, and I, um, this is faith according to the scripture. You know, because everybody say, oh, I got faith, faith. But this is faith according to the scripture. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You know, so physically, we don't see the Lord. Physically, we don't see Yahweh Shai. Physically, we don't see the uh, spiritual powers here yet. But but we know, but but we we hope and we have faith in those things. You know, all right? And then it's Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. See, without faith, it's impossible to please. Uh, it's impossible to please the Lord. You know? And it says, For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You know, so, you know, Lord willing, you know, all of us brothers, you know, um, you know, we keep keep striving, but he says he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You know, so if you going home, I mean, if you, you know, reading your, reading your scriptures, you know, following the law of statute commandment, you know, keeping the, uh, keeping the beard on your face, hey, you serving the Lord. You know, so in that, when, when all hell break loose, the Lord is going to protect you from that hour of temptation. The Lord is not going to, it's, it's not going to have you in a situation where, 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 where they force back, uh, where they force vaccine typically. Mm -hmm. You know, so Gotta, and that's what faith, you know, because without faith it's impossible to please it. So you gotta have that faith. Yep. You take that chip, it's over. But uh come by that one. Uh this is Romans six and twenty. For when ye were servants of sin, ye were free from righteousness. What fruit had ye then in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? That's right. For, for the end of those things is death. That's right, the end of those things is death, man, because it, before we were servants to sin, man. You know, we, we were doing the things that, that sin required of us. You know what I'm saying? Hey, follow your flesh. Do this. Go off. You know? But now we ain't servants of sin no more, man. We servants of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, and we're servants of righteousness, man. You know? Yeah, he, he, yeah you got feel. Yeah, we, we, was, we was going at him for a minute. You know, he wants the real food now. Nah, like, this is the real food. Though. But, uh, uh would you, did you have more? Yeah. But, um, verse 22, but now being made free from sin, and become servants to Yahweh, ye have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. Read that again, Salah. But now being made free from sin and become servants to Yahweh, ye have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. That's right. Hey, our end is gonna let her pass on. Uh, the, the end everlasting life, man. Okay, so that's that's what we're looking for, man. We're not servants to sin anymore, man. You know? We're not servants to sin. We're we're gonna be sin. We're, we're servants of righteousness, servants of the Lord, man. What 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 greater service is there on earth than to serve the heavenly Father, man? What greater occupation is there? You know, nothing greater, man. But these people don't understand that. All right, but it's 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 gonna take it's gonna take uh, martial law. It's gonna take the destruction of America for people to see. Okay, America about to be destroyed off the earth. See all of this happy go lucky party and shit. All that's about to be done away with, man. You know, the, the scriptures speak about the times of Noah, man, the days of Noah. Okay, let's get that, man. You know, talk about the days of Noah. Look, look at that fucking folly, man. You know, when women with their asses out. You know, we, we, hey, man, this place is about to be done away with. We're going to see in martial law how many women running around with them skimpy-ass dresses on, man. All right? Everybody going to be wanting to be fully suited with tight-ass uh, military garments then. Hey, man, there's not a lot of women out there with dresses in, with dresses in, their, in their closet. They gonna be messed they up. Yeah, they like skimpy dresses. They skimpy, yeah. Fucking take a large step, and then you see the whole whole ass of vagina, man. That should be off, man. If your woman gotta pull her damn skirt down every three steps, that's a problem. Go ahead, bro. God, this is Luke chapter seventeen and verse twenty six. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. That's right. Just like in the days of Noah, man. It's gonna be in these days when the Messiah's on his way back. All of you people out here thinking it's all it's happy, fun, go time, man. Hey, it's time for destruction, man. Bro, their kingdom is literally going down, and they acting like they don't hear or see anything, man. We we uh we party, you know, we don't we 
a party. No, we, no, we don't party, but we drink. We have, uh, we, we have fun, but we we doing it in a, but we still have holy conversation. We're going in a righteousness, you know, and, and we know the truth. Right, we're doing the work of the Lord. You know, but these people they out they out here, you know, they just smoking, drinking, everything, whatever they want. You you think the Lord was going to make it to where His men couldn't rejoice? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Hey, the, hey, the Most High is not about folly, but he's about fun too. All right, he's about, he's about balance. He like I'm gonna make y'all serious a hundred percent of the time, and y'all can't y'all can't rejoice and enjoy yourselves, man. He's about balance. When we have fun, it's, it's, when we have fun, it's not even folly though. No, because the Lord is because we uh, the Lord there with we us. fellowshipping. You no, know, we we in holy conference. Uh, holy conversation. Yeah, we've been talking holy things, and then not only that, the Lord says, "Where two or three are gathered, there I am in the midst." So you think your house shot gonna be there and kicking it with folly? Nah, man. <laughs> nah, man. He ain't playing that. They don't have true joy. They don't have true joy because they're not pleasing the Creator. But when you please, when you please the Creator, when you please the Most High, His Son, when you laugh. It's, it's 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 sincere. Mm-hmm. When 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 you when you, when you clowning with the brothers, it's sincere, man. Because we know that we're doing the work of the Lord. We're serving the Lord, and the Lord is going to bring us that peace, man. They don't have that peace. They know in the back of their mind that they're going to get judged for the, for the wickedness that they're doing. They know that. They just want to get high and, and drink and smoke and do all kind of things to to uh, uh, to uh, uh, numb that that feeling and that thought. But they know they're not right. Hey, those same people over there that's partying and drinking with each other, they're going to be the same ones trying to kill each other. Yep. Uh, woo. They said they're going to, in the last days, they're going to fight against their neighbors with swords in their hands, man. Yeah, uh, uh, somebody has something? Oh, you was finishing on yours. Yeah. Luke chapter 17 and 27. They did eat, they drank, they married wives. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. That's right. Drinking, Mary, and see, look, we drink too, but y'all drink to the point of drunkenness, man. You be seeing these people out here just excess, man, looking terrible. All right, and they said marriage and giving in marriage. That's talking about your sex and your actual marriages, man. They said that you know you that lady, uh, her she was having a marriage during that bombing in Lebanon. Her shit got wrecked, <laughs> you know. Hey, and that's how it's gonna be. That's how it's gonna be. You gonna have them doing that all the way up until the day that the Lord come back, man. And they're gonna be terrified, man. Okay, we we going we gonna be excited. All right, we gonna be glad that that shit got tore up because you ain't come to serve the real marriage, man. You ain't come to serve to find, find the real bridegroom, man. So you deserve destruction. Okay, was that is that it on that? Huh. That day they party we having chip parties and everything. Right. Everybody got chip. They yeah, having right. a party. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because you know, and I, I want to tell the brother that was here that uh, what's gonna come with that chip? You know, first they gonna starve everybody out. You know, everybody's gonna be starving of thirst and and, and of food and, and things like that. Well, see, they're 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 gonna they're gonna bring the chip, but it's gonna come with a package, okay? They're, they're, they're with the chip, they're gonna bring along this digital world. I mean, when you take this chip, it's gonna give you access to things that they can show you in your mind, because we know they're all working on these things. They can put uh like Google, they have Google lenses, but I'm pretty sure by that time they'll have contact lenses that you can put on and you can see digital things. Like they'll be, they're gonna be in that world. And, but we're going to see the world as it is. But what's going to happen is, you know, I think I think I mentioned it before. They're going to be in their homes. They're going to be in this digital world, sitting down in their rooms. But Esau might happen to a way where they might not see or hear anything around them in their room. What's going to happen to those of us who didn't take that chip? We're going to have a little struggle. But when that day happens, we're going to walk right in their house. They're going to be sitting there in the couch, eyes open, just bugged out. We're just going to go up in their fridge. We're going to look. We're going to look at them. They're going to be sitting down still. We're just going to go back in the fridge and eat. The Most High is going to hook up his men, man, in a way that's unbelievable, man. And I believe that. All right, bro. I got this All right, this is the book of Ecclesiastes. So, uh, uh, chapter 2, start at verse 10. Look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Uh-huh. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Uh-huh. Or whom did he ever despise? That called upon him. Huh. That's no. Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, that's comfortable yeah, right there. Yeah. You, know, you serve the Lord, you know, uh, you know, it says, if you um, uh, give diligence to make your calling unless you serve, if you do these things, you shall never fall. You know, you, you fear the Lord, you have that. Um, you know, you have that uh, what was it? Uh, book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 2, verse 10. Look at the generations of old and see. Did any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear 
and was forsaken. Right. Oh, all, all, you know, all the prophets of old, you know, they all trusted in the Lord, and they was all, you know, they was all delivered out of tough situations. Look at uh, uh, Shirak, uh, Shirak, Meshach, Abednego, Meshach, and uh, Abednego. You know, they was, they was in that, they was literally in that fire, man. Uh, and the Lord, and the Lord, uh, the Lord delivered them. Right. Or whom he, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? The Lord is not going to despise you. You know, you call it upon your how about you now, Sean? And all truth and necessary, you know, the, you know, the Lord got you, man. You know, and that's our comfort. But, but those, those, the two thirds aren't in the world. They'll come up with some excuses like, well, why did God do this? And why did God do that to me? And why did. But the thing is, when we were in the world, we didn't have the name to call upon. We didn't have the instruction to serve the Lord. So uh, uh, somebody that's of the world, yeah, they're going to think like that. But those of us who who, 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 who return into the Lord and, uh, and, and and put on that spirit of truth, okay, we now we understand. Okay, when we call on the name, when we call on the name of the Lord, when we trust in Him, okay, we we see these things. But two thirds of our people, they don't see these things, man. Okay. And two thirds, you know, they, they complain about, oh, the Lord did this, the Lord did that. You know, the Scripture says, despise not, uh, chastise the Lord. Uh, you no, know, you can't you can't despise what the Lord is putting you. I got a one. This is John, bounce off. Uh, off what the brother said. This is John 9 and 31. Now we know that the Most High here is not sinners. But if any man be a worshiper of the Most High and doeth his will, he will hear him. No, so this goes bouncing off what the brother was saying. We serve the Lord in all true sincerity. You no, know, we are we 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 um we are um, casting off the ways of this world, you know, putting on the immortal clothing. You know, the Lord, when at that time, you know, the Lord is going to hear us. He's going to, uh, he's going to provide food for us, you know, provide clothing. You know, uh, you know we, we can't worry about, um, we can't worry about um, how the Lord is going to provide for us. All right, we just have to do, we have to do do our part and the Lord is going to do his part. I got some. This is uh, Psalms 94 and uh, verse, I'm going to start at 12. Blessed is the man whom thou chastenest, O Lord, and teaches him out of thy law. You see, it blesses this man, the Lord, who, who get chastened, man. All right? And you, you, when we learn, we learn from the law of Yahweh Bashem Shah. It says, That thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity until the pit be digged for the wicked. All right? So we're going to get rest for those that uh, put us in bad situations, man. All right? Because it's it going to be a pit digged for the wicked, man. And that's happening now and in the kingdom, man. All right? It says, uh, For the Lord will not cast... This is going along with the brother who was reading in Sirach, uh, the second chapter. For the Lord will uh, not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance, man. All right? So those are the, those are the Israelites, man. Okay? Predominantly the elect. He's not going to cast off his people. Those are the ones that called upon his name. He's not going to forsake us and just have... He says he's not going to... Uh, he's not unrighteous to forget our labor of love, man. All right? It says... Uh, uh, but judgment shall return unto righteousness, and all the upright in heart shall follow it. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? And that's, that's a big reason why the Lord is, uh, is not going to cast us away, man. Because in the midst of our enemies, we fought for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. And when he, he says, uh, hey, man, even, these, even if there's no one to preach for the Lord, he says, even these stones should cry out, man. So in the midst of our enemies, in the midst of a world of wickedness, we fought for the Heavenly Father. We, we fought against the, the evildoers. We told the world the things that they were doing that was incorrect according to the Holy Bible. And according to his word, thus saith the Lord, man. All right, you got something? Right? Uh, this is um, Sirach chapter 2 and 9. Ye that fear the Lord. Verse 8. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is Sirach 2 and 8. Ye that fear the Lord, believe in him, and your reward shall not shall not fail. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's just you know more words to come for us that, you know, if we doing this work, you know, uh that reward will not fall. And what's that reward? All right, being um, you know, um escaping that thermonuclear missile, being caught up on them chariots, you know, that's the reward. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, you can next one. Right. Verse 9, ye that fear the Lord, ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. <laughs> Hope for good, you know. And so these people, they they hoping and uh, they 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 hope right now. They hoping right now, thinking that they're this is good. What's going on now? Okay, because hoping goes back to a, a expectation. Okay, so they're they're expecting only good things. But the thing is, we hoping for good, knowing that these things are gonna come to pass. All right, 
their things are going to uh, fall apart, man, because Babylon is falling, man. All right, where, where, where all your people fun going to be when America get destroyed off the earth, man? Either you're going to be looking up or you're going to be looking down, man. Okay? And if you're the ones looking up for the first time in your life, your people look up, and that's going to be your destruction, man. Two-thirds of our people, you know, they too, they too busy on their phone, you know, um, on TikTok, on Instagram, you know. So two-thirds of our people, they never even look up into the sky. They never even look to see, you know, if, if their chariots out. I, I look up at the sky all the time, man. He about to get it, too. He got to, man. That's where our hope come from. And he said, uh, we, uh, we hoping in heaven. Our, hope, our help come from heaven, man. <laughs> all right? So we always look into the skies, man. Luke, Luke 21, uh, you like 27. You might be able to start at 26. I always start at 26, but okay. This is Luke chapter 21 and verse 26. Men's heart failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. That's right. Men, hey, in the day when the Messiah returns, you, you, a lot of you men, man, y'all going to have heart attacks. Yes, we go. <laughs> hey, men, you men are going to have heart attacks, man. Okay? Failing you for fear. Okay? Because of the, the amount of fear you're going to have. You're going to have a heart attack. You ain't even weird. <laughs> the, the Lord will have it the way you have a heart attack, and then you wake right back up and see the missiles coming down, man. You know how terrible that's going to be? You, you, your heart aching, and then you just see the missile. That's painful, <laughs> man. <laughs> go ahead, bro. Luke 21 and 26. Men's heart. Failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of the he for the powers of heaven shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. That's right, man. We the Messiah is coming with power and great glory, man. He ain't coming back as no simp. He ain't coming back as he's not even coming back as a lamb, man. He's coming to tear. He's coming to tear and destroy and save his men, man. And if you ain't part of that salvation, you're a part of his destruction. Go ahead, bro. Verse 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw not. That's it. So we're going to be looking up. Hey, we're going to be waiting. We're expecting the Lord now, man. All right? We, we, we look up to the heavens and say, look up for your, your redemption draw not. So we're going to see them chariots, man. Hey, man, we're going to be rejoicing, man. We're going to be thanking the Lord. At the same time, fearing. And thanking the Lord, man. Looking up. But see, the thing is, we're going to be looking up out of uh, expectation of salvation, Pink. Uh, looking up for expectation of salvation. Okay? Black, too. <laughs> expectation for salvation. But then they're going to be looking up after we're being taken up to only get destroyed, man. Looking for those missiles, man. All right? That's the earnest expectation of the people of the Lord, of the hopeful elect, man. Looking up for salvation, man. That word, uh, redemption... Uh, it says apolatrosis apolatrosis it says they're releasing affected by payment of ransom Ooh. redemption deliverance it says liberation procured by the payment of, of a ransom mm. and it's uh, and it's strong this it says uh, it says Christian salvation see that because when you go in it says for we were bought with a price man <laughs> alright so th th this is the uh, the Lord like hey man we, we're now, we're paying all of those debts, all of those uh, the sins that we did. The Lord like, okay, now you're going to be, now all of those names that are written in the book, Lord willing, we can be found in the heavens, man. Okay? This, this is a glorious moment to take part of. Yeah. Come on, I, it's Revelation 22 and 12. Ooh. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. That's right, to give every man according as his work shall be. So the Lord's coming and he's going to punish people for, for not believing. All right. He says, let all them, uh, the unbelievers die in their disbelief. All right. Die in your incredulity, man. Okay. That word. Get, go ahead. You know, I was just going to say that word reward, it, it goes back to uh, what it said, uh, good or bad. I mean, uh, good or bad. Right. You know, so the Lord, so the Lord is going to. He's going to reward you with something good or bad. Yep. Destruction or salvation. They, they've been brought up in America too long, man. Like, like Apostle Harvey saying, you've been in Babylon too long. Uh, <laughs> you know? That's how to be. Because when you in, in America, a reward is always a good thing. You know? They always get, even if it's a participation award. <laughs> <laughs> you got to participate. You, you get one just for coming. All right? You know? But really, the Lord's giving those out too. You know? 
Well, that's probably not really real talk. Yeah, uh, because those who are uh, faithful to the end. Right, because a participation award means you actively, part you actively participate. Okay? All right? So, hey, you know, we can have somebody come out here every week, and they could just stand there. You know, that don't mean that they believe. They could just be listening. We had an Edomite coming out here for weeks. Didn't believe anything we were saying, but just listen. I was thinking about having a week. <laughs> yeah. Weird yeah, with the cross. <laughs> with the cross. Oh, I was talking about the, uh, the dude that, that might have been an agent. He used to ask questions. With the cross. The yeah. dude with the no, cross. The other dude. Uh, the, other, the other dude. He used to come by. Uh, with so oh, the glasses? No, you know. Uh, Shave head, skinny. He used to stand by the tree. Yeah. Right. Just post up. With the cross. No, 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 uh, no. It was, <laughs> that's the yeah. first one, not yeah. before him. I don't know. All these Edomites are the same. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All you so-called white people are the same. He's and, and I'm saying. Yeah, I said it. You just asked a couple <laughs> questions. And he, the library. Right. he was white. He went <laughs> at, one really point, he, at one point, he said he might be a chick. Right. Oh, okay. I don't, know. I don't know. I can't remember. But hey, you know how they always say, hey, all you so called black people the same? Hey, all you so called white people the same? Yeah, I said it. Right. Y'all all wicked, man. Right. All, right. all right. devils. <laughs> all right. More just like us too. Right. See, that's fair. They all the same, man. And that's the thing. They might say we all look the same. That's because we brothers. Right. All right. But they all the same because y'all got the same spirits. Y'all wicked as hell, man. That's right. <laughs> that's me in the dress, too. I hope not. Well, I got a scripture. This Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 38. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Mm. You know, so who's those souls that draw back? The ones that the ones that didn't endure to the end. The ones that fell out, you know, um, in that hour of temptation, they folded and, 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 um, and took that RFID chip. You know, they made Esau their God. Those are the ones that draw back, you know. Hey, man, out of all years to fall out of the truth, 2020 is not it. <laughs> it's not any time really But 2020 The Lord's showing us so much man Hey man How much more And we Hey we, we only in August We still got four more months Left in this place man Left, left in uh, uh, this year You know The day of atonement coming up Hey man Hey the Lord about to render All hell upon this place man You know Go ahead We might have brought that already Spirit Look at uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. Fine. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body yeah. according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. That's right. That's when you go into uh, 2 Ezra, the 16th chapter, about the 64th verse on down. It talks about how your, your own sins are going to be your accusers. You know? So all, all of the things that uh, people did, yeah, the, all, all that wickedness that you people manifested, the Lord says you're going to accuse yourself. All right, we don't even let, let's get second Ezra's action 16. You know, all of those things that people did, all of that wickedness that you did, all of the, the, the uh, adultery that you committed, all right, all the idolatry that you committed, all those drugs you snort and coke, all that coke you do. Hey, your own sins are gonna be your accusers before the Heavenly Father because we got the angels watching y'all people, man. Y'all think ain't nobody watching y'all just because you're in the secrets of your house. The Lord says your own sins gonna be your accusers in that day. You got it, all right. You know, see, the, reason, the reason why they don't believe because the Most High hasn't revealed Himself to them. We haven't revealed themselves, uh, revealed Himself to them because there's been plenty of times where we're out here speaking, and Yahweh Hashem Yahshua will show us things, man, to let us know that He's dealing with us in the Spirit, man. Okay, He'll send men to to, to get rid of these scoffers. Okay, we've seen these things in the Spirit. So when we say things, uh, speaking of the angels and things like that, that are spiritual, we we believe. It's the, the two-thirds of our people, the unbelievers of our people, they don't believe because the Most High never revealed these things unto him, unto them. So uh, said that what did you say? Black lives See? Get it through, man. Oh, man, they got another one? Oh, we got to deal with this shit every week, man. Go, go ahead, uh, read yours. All right. All right it's hey, hi, hold on. How you doing, man? Good. Hey, let me ask you a question. Hey, I saw. Who do you think the criminal is? That guy. Yo, you, 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 Jesus, you, Jesus Christ is the criminal. Well, well, hold on. So, Wait, no, Jesus Christ is the criminal. You don't listen or you want? You ask me a question. I, I asked you a question. Okay. So, Jesus Christ is can I answer your question, Esau? Okay. You said it's Jesus Christ the, the, uh, the criminal. That man is a criminalized image of the Heavenly Father's son. That is, the Heavenly Father's son. son. That is not the image of the Messiah according to the Bible. So, the so called white. I don't know. Okay, so the so-called white people made that image come forth across the four corners of the earth. Which white people? The, the problem, predominantly the elites. Okay, yeah, who but, are these? You said who are these? You don't know about the thirteen banking families? 
you never heard of the Rothschilds, the Bilderbergs, the Gettys, you never heard of the banking families? Now, who are they? Okay, well, you gotta do your research on that. But no, they're no, basically, they're, they're basically, tell me, tell me. I'm, listen, they are the, the, the banking ruling yep. families of the earth, all right? They are the, the, uh, who the world calls elites. Those people who have the higher end finances on the earth? Yes. Okay. But nonetheless, through, uh, uh, Russian iconoclasm throughout history, and through the through the rebirth, okay, which is the Renaissance, through the rebirth, they made that image of the of, of that man, which a is white, the, a white man. Right, but in the Bible, you know it says he looks like a so-called black man. Did you know that? He, he, he's Middle Eastern. No, he's Middle Eastern. Okay, he's Middle Eastern. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. 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 I, I don't think just because of the melatonin in your skin, just because of the, the color, it doesn't change anything. We're all one, but just no, we're not all one. The Bible doesn't say that. What do you mean? We're all okay, we can, we can get it first. Of all. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're not. We're not. No, uh, okay, okay. Hold on. How? If the cat and the dog, if the cat and the dog won. <laughs> cats, cats and dogs are animals. Are they both the same? Animals. Are they both the same? Okay. Because I'm me and you're you doesn't mean we're all the same. We're the same. Okay, so first, first, let's, first, first, let's get the image of the Messiah. Let's get to start with that. So you said he's Middle Eastern. All right. Uh, go ahead. You're eating my friends trying to learn. Hey, Esau. He's a man, Esau. He wants to talk, Esau. I just want to talk. All right, right. So let's get the image of the Messiah. This is Revelation chapter chapter one. Let's start at one first. Revelation chapter one, verse one. Mm -hmm. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show his servants mm -hmm. things which must shortly come to pass. Right. So revelation means to reveal. So one of the things that's about to be revealed is the image of the Messiah. Yes. Okay. So mm -hmm. jump down to verse thirteen. Okay. Verse thirteen, Revelation one and thirteen, and in the midst of the seven candle. In the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. What does that mean? Okay, so so it is when you listen, I'm, I'm, because he's reading. No, 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 you stop. No, 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 no. He's reading. He's reading. He's reading. He's reading. He's reading. He's reading. Hey, he's reading. Hey, get ready for slavery, man. Get ready for slavery because he reads. Oh, look, this is how we work. He reads. One of us speaks. He speaks. Okay, no, he's speaking. No, hey, do you run the church? Do you do you run the church? Hey, man. Get out of here. You're ready to slavery, man. Hey, you're ready to slavery, man. According to the Bible, you're going to slavery. I am slavery. Yes, you're going to slavery according to the Bible. I am in slavery. You're going to slavery. white people are going to slavery. What does that mean that I am going to slavery? Okay, you, okay. Do you know about the transatlantic slave trade with the so-called black people? Absolutely. That is, that's on a much higher level. That on a much higher level is about to happen to you and your family. But do you think there's a silk road in the middle, the modern 2020? A silk road? What does that mean? The modern slavery. In the Silk Road, there was modern slavery. Okay, we did, we did. Revelation 13 and 9. No, no, no. I didn't want to hear it. Of course you don't want to hear it. Why don't you want to hear it? 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 Why don't you want to hear it
25 and 25. We come from different places. And the verse came out red. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. And listen, listen. Genesis, listen, listen. I'm telling you about your history, buddy. You don't listen. I'm telling you about your history. And the verse came out red. We come from the same history. All over like in Harry Garment. And they called him Esau. Esau. Right. And the verse came out red all over like a hairy garment and named his call, name is called Esau. You're an Edomite according to the Bible. You are not white. Your people are not white. You are Edomites according to the Bible. And the book of Obadiah says that you are going into slavery. Right. Right. Okay. Yes, you are. To who? You, to the Messiah. Hey, matter of fact, I claim you through the Spirit. Yeah, you just claim you through the Spirit. So you're going to be my, are you, you gonna, are you, my personal slave. I have you a question. Me, buddy. Are you and all the slaves in the Messiah? I'm a slave right now. Yeah, but I am Messiah. Right. Yes, I am. Yeah. So we both are. No, no, you're a different no, you kind of slave. Said that I you're a different slave. kind of slave. I am a slave to Messiah. I'm a And so are you. You are a slave to us. Look, look. You're going to be. You're going to be. I am a slave to us. You will be. Hey, just say That's what he just said. I am a slave to us. No, 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 no. I, I am give, me, give me Jeremiah 30 and 16. Here. Give me Ezekiel exactly 25 and 12. Okay, we're going to prove to you that the Edomites are going into slavery. Who are the give Edomites? Me Obadiah. You're, you're the Edomites. Okay, you are. I am an yes, Edomite. Yes, we are Israelites. What? We what are Israelites. Okay? Israelites. Yes. My family is Jewish. Oh, I, you know, do, you, do you speak Yiddish? Do you speak Yiddish? No, but just because I don't speak okay. Yiddish doesn't mean that You're I'm not the real Jewish, Jews, man. according to the Bible. Neither are okay? you. Okay? Yes, I don't speak Jewish. You're with me. Atalo Yehudi. Okay. met Yehudi And what does that mean? What does it mean? Since you know. Exactly. You're a devil, man. Go ahead, man. I knew exactly what it meant. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16. Therefore. King all they that devour thee Bible. shall be devoured. Not a Jewish Bible. And all thy adversaries, every one of them, shall go oh, into captivity. Yes. You might be a slave, buddy. I right? mean, I have to be. That doesn't mean I am a slave. Hey, hey, you, you are you. You're ruling right now, buddy. Exactly. You got so hey, are you. Hey, no, you are a free man no, as much as I am. No. And all of you. Hey, yeah, yes, hey, you yeah, are. You are in a freedom zone. You're in the freest nation in the entire world. He just heard he's getting ready for slavery. He's pissed off. He's pissed off. He's pissed off. Hey, get him out of here, man. Get him out of here. Hey, get him out of here. Hey, get ready for slavery, man. Get out of here, man. Exactly. Hey, hey, bring that Ezekiel out. This is Ezekiel. Because I am educated. And none of you are. Verse 12. Whoa. Exactly. Read the Bible to me. God, because that Edom have dwelt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, God, I will also stretch out my hand. They don't want to talk. They don't want to talk to me. Of course they don't want to talk. We don't want to talk to you. Honestly, we don't want to talk to you either. But we're doing this for edification. Hey, hey, because you're a basic man, buddy. You guys don't ask the question. Nah, he's just upset. Revelation. Chapter 2 and verse 9. No, he doesn't want to talk to me. Revelation 2 and 9. I know thy work and tribulation mm-hmm. and poverty, mm-hmm. but thou art rich. Right, so the real Jews are in poverty right now. You in poverty, buddy? Uh, no. Oh, of course and not. neither of are you. Not. Of course and not. neither are I you. I have been, though. Have I, you? Yes, I have. When? My, my family came Back from a... Uh, no, no, you, you. you. Yes, when have you been? This is my brother. Is it? That's your brother? Yes, it is. He didn't say anything. Is that your brother? By blood. You want to look at blood? That's your brother. No, 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 no
so we are fucking yeah. so 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 you know up there. Get the fuck Shh. up there. Are you fucking kidding me? Can't listen. There are fucking people up there waiting for us. Stop. I don't care. You can't describe poverty, so you can't just talk. This ain't poverty. You're talking to what's this? Man, stop trying to rule. I think that's your soul right there. You just talk, talk, man. You so called white people think y'all run everything. You don't run shit no more, bro. This is over, man. Matter of fact, let's just get the scriptures, man. I don't care what you got. Oh, get out of here. Hey, no, read yours, brother. Revelations 2 and 9. To try to know thy work and tribulation and poverty. But thou art rich. Right, we're rich in faith and in the spirit. Go ahead. I know the blasphemy of them. Hey, 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 hey don't put your touch on nobody. Get out of here. Go. Get out of here. I'm not talking to you. Get out of here. 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 Get out of Get out of here. 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 Go to the party. Go to the party. Go to the party. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 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 See, they, they think they got rulership over everything. They think they can do what they want. Hey, this is a new age, baby. My, my, my scripture. <laughs> this is a new age. Hey, read the scripture since they, they think they're Jewish, man. Revelations 2 and 9. I know thy work and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. I know the blasphemy of them. But you say they are Jews and are liars. But I'm a synagogue of Satan. Hey, he's a devil, man. Okay? You, they think they can do whatever they want, man. Putting their hands on people, man. That you so-called white people are going into slavery. That's oh, right. That's said the Lord. That's right. Hey, ain't no time for this, man. See, these people don't understand, man. You think you can just do what you want. It's a new day and a new age, man. The Israelites are the new gods of the earth, man. That's right. right. The spirit and power you all about Shemiel Shah, man. Come on, man. See, you knew he came over here. You knew he was on it, man. You know? You know? You know? Oh, blast me a bit with CRG. I don't yeah, touch yeah, me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Daniel chapter 2 and verse 44. And in the days of these, th these kings shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall be not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms yeah, and it shall stand forever. That's right, man. Just, hey, hey, uh, what's that, uh, the saints of the Mohawks rule? Daniel 8, I believe. Seven, I Seven years time. This is Daniel chapter 7 and verse 14. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. That's right. This kingdom ain't going to be destroyed, man. Ain't nothing they can do it. Get the next verse. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, the saints of the Most High shall rule. Uh, shall take the kingdom. God. Daniel 7 and 27. And the kingdom and the dominion no, and the greatness of the kingdom. That's not it. Like no, they ain't it either. The saints of the Most High shall take, take the, the kingdom. kingdom. Oh. Yeah, it's like Daniel 7 and 18 or Daniel 7. Read, read that for me, brother. Daniel chapter 7, verse 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom Ooh. and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Yep. See that? We're going to take the kingdom, man. And we're going to possess it forever and ever. And see now, you see, we, we up here all the time. We're peaceable. We don't put our hands on nobody, but you take a slithering Edomite to come over here to start something, man. I knew he was getting too close. Over. He was across the street smiling. I knew he was getting too close. Yeah, man. You know? Hey. Yeah, see? You know he a devil, man. You know what you're talking about? If you can't define poverty. See, that's the oh, thing. That they right haven't there. even experienced poverty. We experience poverty. We know what it is, man. Okay? They ain't going to tell us about poverty, and we and we from poverty. We, we are, we, I got that. Hey, Israelites yeah. are the reason poverty exists in the first place, man. You know, and you so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics, these so-called white people are not your friends, man. No matter how many times we got to tell you, they are not your friends. They look at any moment's notice to strike you, man. Okay? Oh, boy, come here, grab this stuff, man. Look, what? 
You saw the you saw that demon in his eyes too, man. <laughs> he was pissed. Go ahead, bro. In the book of Hebrews, chapter four, verse twelve. For the word of the Lord is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. That's right. See, that word of the Lord is powerful, and that's why we couldn't, he didn't even want us to speak. We like, let's get a verse out. He like, nah, nah. See, he was just trying to rile everybody up, man. That's what Esau get, man. But see, now, hey, this is how you know y'all watching me on Shaw on our side. They don't come down and mess with us no more. They see us every week. I was thinking about Proverbs 16. The cops come now. They, they you might say, you might tell told us, you might, hey, you know, you can't you. touch nobody. Like, <laughs> right, right. He said, hey, 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 buddy, come to tell you as a friend, you need to get the hell out of here. You know? <laughs> and real talk, like, real talk, he didn't want that smoke. Let's be real, bro. You see all these jakes out here, bro. You ain't want that you smoke, man. He's a so called juke. So that means he got, he know the law enforcement is on his side. And he ain't never been in poverty, man. No. You know, they think because you receive welfare does not mean you've been in poverty, man. Just because you're getting wick. So-called white people get wick all the time. That don't mean they're in poverty, man. No. You don't know what po- poverty is. When you're growing up in the hood, you ain't got no food. You ain't got no water. All right? You can't, you can't pay your bills. You're using your stove as your heat. As a nation. Yeah. Not just a few here there. Right. A nation. A nation. Yeah. Yep, hey amen. Butter bread, Butter bread. Yeah. Uh, cheese sandwich. Nah, forget that. Yeah. An empty refrigerator, bro. Yeah. For real. Open that bill like five, six times in a day, thinking that you're gonna find something new in there. It ain't gonna be nothing. Serpent bread. It's, it's a book. It's a book about a little Jake. It's called uh, uh, Black Boy. All right, he used to have to stick his water. He used to stick his face up under the phone just to drink water to fill up his stomach so he could feel full. But he said that would only last uh, like an hour. And then next thing you know, he's hungry again, man. That's what the existence that our people living with. Stop they don't understand that, man. We're like, hey, man, call all you how about Shemiel and Shah, man. That's why the scriptures say, man, they're going to come down with great, with great wrath, knowing that they have but a short time. Get, get that, and Revelation 12 and 12. You know what I mean? Because like, you can feel it. Because he's just, he's representing them. So if he's acting like that, they approve of that that that, that spirit. Mm-hmm. See, and, 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 he, he, uh, he's a demon and his brother is too See his brother he, So you saw that redness on his brother He just tried to act like he's the good educated he's more, one He's more of a serpent Yeah he's more of a serpent he's the one good, good cop, bad cop. That's all it was Go ahead read that bro Revelation 12 and 12 Therefore rejoice ye heaven And ye that dwell in them Woe to the heavens of the earth It says rejoice ye heaven So that we, we supposed to be rejoicing in this time You know not in that woe is me spirit Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. That's right, man. He know that he have but a short time, man. And that's why they're getting all built up. That's why he's like, who, who? He probably he, he probably more tuned in LinkedIn than we think. Right. You're like, well, name him, name him. You know, he's a little Edomite, man. He's a serpent. He man. came off crap. Came off I already knew he was on, bro. But see, that's how you can, you can spot an Edomite when he come out crafty. The first question I he asked me a question and he wouldn't even let me answer it. He said, "Is Jesus Christ the criminal?" I tried to answer it. He's like, "No, no, no, no. Can I answer your question, man? All right, we living in a perverse nation, man. And that, that but those are the rulers of the earth. That so called white man, that little midget, is the ruler of the earth, man. Get out of here, man. Right." His ass to get the one hitter quitter. <laughs> Ooh, he don't want that. He don't want that. Hey, it's like you know, being wise, brothers. I'm just talking shit. You know, don't go out here and sit. Don't leave mayhem and brothers and shit. You know, people. But uh, somebody has some. Jay Charter. What time is it? It's that. It's after. It's about four fifteen. I got time. Time. Man, this is Saron. Please ask Go ahead. Twelve and verse ten. Never trust thy enemy. For like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Yeah, but so after time, you see how they are. So he can, they can come up here, act cool, calm and collected. All right, but that's what a serpent does, man. They lie and wait for that perfect moment to attack, man. Okay, as soon as we told him he's going into slavery, hey, he don't want to hear it. You know, he, he out of there. He's like, oh, no, what do you mean I'm going, uh, I'm in slavery. What do you mean? You know, that's a de- that's devil talk, man. All right, he got that, he got that fork tongue, man. Saying one thing but mean another. That's what Psalm 55 says. His words are as butter and oil, but his and behind his back is strong swords, man. Oh, and they're ready for war. These so-called white people are ready for war, man. Let me bring that okay, out. but the word of Messiah is going to overtake them, man. Let me bring that out. Go ahead. Bro. Yeah, Psalm 55, 
verse 21, it says the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly how he came. Yeah. Came all smooth and crafty, low, came crouching. You know what I mean? Acting like he didn't know nothing. But then as soon as the scripture started coming out, the demon came out. Mm -hmm. And then we knew that he knew everything. The horns start showing, man. You know what I mean? That's why I say the script, like the brothers just read, never trust our enemy, man. We can't trust these so-called white people, man. We can't trust them. They're demons. Why would you trust a demon? You know? That's right. So-called white people are demons, man. You can't trust them, man. You know? Uh, uh, you still got that sir, right, brother? It's 12 or you got something else? I got some. Okay, my sir, go ahead. Uh, this is um, Ecclesiastes 12 and 16. The enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, mm -hmm. but his heart, he imagines how to throw thee into a pit. That's right. He, he wanted to overthrow us. He going to tell him, the brother Reed, he going to tell him to uh, break it down. That ain't how we operate, bro. You don't <laughs> never seen that man walk into a church or a school class and say, all right, you teach this way. Nah, this is our stage, man. He think I'm just reading all those fucking Come on, stay right, back right. to so they can highlight yeah. it. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. I got to Go <laughs> Uh, but yeah, he's looking to overthrow us. He's looking yeah, to throw us right. into a pit. Uh, they waking to get, well, waiting to get the best of us, man. This is all the spirit of the Lord, man. See, uh, just like how how he just get taken away like that. See, they they, they want that. That's why they they want that make make America great again spirit. They he wish he could have just choked one of us up, and then the cops came and saved right, us, right. saved him instead of us. That's, right. that's what he wants, man. And this is what they're trying to get Jake to do in general. They're trying to get the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans to have like a race riot. Because they're trying to control, they're trying to manipulate this rape, this riot to come. Because they're ready for a riot. They're ready for war. We're not ready for no war. They have all the guns, they have all the missiles and things like that. What do we have? And absolutely nothing. And see, look, you see how he, he he'll, uh, we, we said we got him on camera. He said he hit me first or something. Did he say something yeah. like that? We got him on camera, bro. Right, right. Lying ass. Nah, they eat him out there, The bar gave that guy that I pushed. <laughs> <laughs> Warrior, hey, Warrior, 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 Warrior,
You don't want no you don't want no dog that got three different types of dogs in it. But you know what? <laughs> they do that so they can justify their wickedness and their character. Oh, that was the the Italian side of me. Right. Oh, that was the right. Bitch. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's that's what Edomites do too. They oh, I'm Native American. They ain't all of that nonsense, man. But uh, we can get some finals and wrap it up. I know you had one on deck. Huh? This is uh, Psalms one twenty and seven. It says, "I am for peace." But when I speak, they are for war. That's right. We didn't. We was for peace. When he was up here, we he asked us questions. We was answering his questions. But he didn't like the way we were operating. All right. So what did he say? He said, "Nah, you 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 break down and you speak. You know that's how they think. That's me. He said you acting like oh. He said you acting like you can you can just run the show. Acting like you can do everything. They think they got that authority. That's because that's their pride. That's within them, man. That pride that's in them. And them fill their chest up that then they can say and do whatever they want, especially to us." You know, these, these niggas lower than us. When we now understand, we're the, we're the sons of God, man. All right? Yeah, Under your how much we are shot. Yeah, he got to put his hand yeah, on yeah, that, that's, that's that sword. You know what I'm saying? Because now, now he can try to manipulate what we said. He can say, they, they put, they can say he pushed me. That's all he will say. But you ain't sure that you grabbed the man, his arms in the Bible, and you just try to swing him. He going to leave that part out. That's, a, that's how history is written. And they, you know? That was an example. On the that that was an example of a real <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 The so-called white people real nigga of the earth, man. Yeah, and and, and two-thirds of our people, they follow those. Where do you think they get those way from? Right. Riding, stealing, shooting. Right. That's right. from fucking Esau. Yeah. That's the way of came. That's right. We just went into that. Going into the way it came, man. Uh, 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 real quick, John 8 and 44. Ten. We probably can wrap it up yeah, on ten, this one. 10. 10. 10%. John chapter 8, verse 44. Ye are of the father, the devil. Yep. Ye are of your father, the devil. This is talking about so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And their father, the devil, the devil on earth are these so-called white people. They act just like him. When you, when our people was getting, when, when you, when you seeing a so-called uh, black man in the hood and he walk around with a cape, you think he got the funds to get that? The AK-47? Nah. They be dropping them guns off in the hood. Uh, where, we, where we get cocaine from in, in your neighborhoods and Molly and all this? They dropping that stuff off, man. To add to what you're saying, where the fuck Jake get a bazooka from? Right. Uh, Jake got a bazooka in the hood. Well, man, you ain't getting them, them foreign items like that, man. They be dropping them off in the hood, giving them losses, giving them to certain people that's going to do wicked. Go ahead. Oh, my plug is pop up. No, your plug is the police department. All right. That's your plug. Yep. A lot of these games, a lot of these games, like the, uh, the leaders, I mean, they, 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 um, work for the they work for the police They be infiltrating our people. They infiltrate the hood. Go ahead, finish on your verse, off. John 8 and 44, you are the father of the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He will he was a murderer from the beginning. Woo. And above and above not in the truth. That's, That's what right. we just seen. Mm -hmm. that, we making a righteous sacrifice, <laughs> and he getting mad because our sacrifice is righteous. And what did he want to do? He wanted to kill Abel. <laughs> Look, right. Just grab on a man. Who does that, man? <laughs> who does that? Man is reading the book. You just, who does that, man? Too, you got to be a murderer. You're a demon. If he could have killed us and got away with it, he would have done it. If he could have sprayed everybody and nobody else was here to see, he would have done it. Right. Yep, but he don't understand. See, the thing is, we got the protection of the Heavenly Father. All right? Hey, oh, oh last one, real quick. Psalms 124. Psalms 124. It's a quick chapter. It's like six verses. But real quick, because the Heavenly Father is the one that, that's for us, man. You know? The Heavenly Father is the one that's for us. We don't worry about... The security do that because the Heavenly Father put the Spirit on them to do that. Go ahead. This is Psalms 124 and 1. If it, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say... If thou had not been the Lord who was on our side when men rose up against us, mm -hmm. then shall they, then, then they had swallowed up, swallowed us up quick. See that? He would have. If the Lord wasn't on our side, he could have won that situation, man. You know, but the Lord is on our side, man. Every time we come out, we we know that Yahweh Shimei is on our side. You see how the Most High puts their foot in the net? The same rules that they use to help themselves against us, now it's against them. All right. See, now, okay, it's like uh, the camera. They built the camera for what? Surveillance and all that kind of stuff? <laughs> now the same camera is surveillance and them. Okay? <laughs> Their same laws that they set in place for us, now it's harming and hurting them. 
What is it? Their tongues shall fall upon themselves? <laughs> the same things they did, the inventions against us. Freedom of speech. Right. All right? They did that so they could yeah. say whatever the hell they want. But now, we can use that same thing against them. The real talk, freedom of speech was made for this time. The kingdom of heaven, man. So that we can talk the Lord's word without them trying to condemn it. The scriptures say, uh, there is nothing you can do to, tr- to the truth but for the truth, man. All right? No, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Like this camera, you see? Yep. I had a white police one day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we got the old camera panhandling. Yep. I said, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad the camera's here. Because the camera's a, a show if you try to kill me. Right, right, right. right. I'm glad they're here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he right. telling me that like, I would be scared. I said, I'm glad they're here. For real. Yeah. See, and that's the thing. Me. That's right. right. <laughs> they don't know what they did. Just like him. They got it on camera. That he was the first right one that reached it. You know? Yeah. But uh, finish up on that with them, counsel. Psalms 124 and 3. Then they had swallowed us us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over our soul. Mm-hmm. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who have not given us as a prey to their teeth. See that? Hey, that's why when that happened, hey, call the Lord Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. He could have, the Lord could have gave us over to that, but not. Nah, the Lord is on our side. So we know he's helping us in all of our situations, man. Proverbs 16 and 7. When a man's way pleases the Lord, he maketh his enemies to be at peace with him. See, hey, the, the security guards, man, they be at peace with us. We had cops come before. They, they, you know, they got the other people out of here. Every time, it never fails. That's why you coming up. This is the church of the Heavenly Father, man. All right? We, we're proclaiming his word and exalting his name, man. Ain't nothing they can do against this, man. All right? Hey, if they, it says, uh, Acts the 8 chapter, if this were of men, they could overthrow it. All right? But this is of the Heavenly Father, and they can't. So with that, man, we're the so-called, we're the, uh, we're, the Hebrew, we're the Hebrew Israelites coming in week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America. We come to tell you so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics that you are the children of Israel according to the Holy Bible. You so-called white people are going into slavery according to the Holy Bible. We right. Give, right. We want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashim, we're talking to us. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and peace and mercy to the house of David the elect. Until next time, Lord willing, Shalom. Shalom! A Bible ball! A Bible ball!